हेलो 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 ए गोबी गोबी इज टुडे फर्स्ट एंड अपेरेंटली ऑल्सो सेकेंड एंड बट मे बी आई डोट नो ओ सी या आई डोट आई डोट थिंक पीपल आर अवेयर ऑफ इट बट वो सी मे बी ओल कैच ऑन इवेंचुअली But hi Gobi and hi We. Thank you so much for the lurk. I appreciate it. Um. So we're here. It's it's Thursday, which is good because uh, closer we are to the weekend, the better life gets. You know, it's just how it is. Even if you have, you know, all the other days off as well. It's just it's just something about the weekend. You know. Ah. <sighs> you also the 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 lur lurk lurk. Well, I appreciate that. Uh so thank you. I hope you guys have had a, a good couple of days since last time. Um Oh, <laughs> uh, it's so it's so funny because I've been I've just been <laughs> I've been thinking about how I would say productive last stream was. Not not very efficient. Not very efficient, but he was productive. um you could say <laughs> and i'm so glad that i got to upload all of it on youtube yesterday so that um i don't know so it's it's more as fresh as possible in people's memories i guess so they could see it um you're furious hey blues why why are you furious why are you playing baldur's gate 3 Black cat, how are you doing? It's so nice to see you. Yeah, as as I also you can you guys don't forget that I uh obviously if you're not in the Discord you probably won't know but you can redeem second and third now <laughs> as well as first. <laughs> so uh you can do that. You can do that. Um Hey Chris. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> And Chris is third. You no, <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> uh, you furious? Who the fuck? Uh. <laughs> did you see? Did you see the clip? Um, or yeah, because you weren't there for the the actual um. Uh. What when it actually happened? <laughs> you did. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. I I still laugh. Like I've watched it, that clip maybe like five, six times now. Maybe in seven. I don't know. I haven't counted. But I watched it several times, and I laugh every single time because it is hilarious. <laughs> Oh, let me let me get. It also has so many views now. Um which, you know, in a way it doesn't really surprise me because these types of clips tend to be um uh, probably a bit popular. 77 views is what it has now. Uh so in case anyone uh, missed it, obviously it it is um I wouldn't say too explicit, but it is it, To be fair, also my my stream is 18 plus. So if you're not 18, you you don't you you shouldn't be here, okay? Just, you shouldn't be here. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> And you were there, but you were you were sleeping. Oh, I see, I see. Well, you know, I appreciate the lurk though. So thank you for that. Um you want the excuse because the Discord soundboard sound? <laughs> hey, that is possible. Also, that reminds me, guys, if you want a walk on, you can. You can get a uh, you can get a walk on in my channel. You don't have to be subbed or anything. You just have to follow the channel. Um so there's like a panel underneath on the page where um, If you click on the little sandwich, you know the the horizontal two horizontal lines. Um 
it's it tells you to connect or or uh, log into your Twitch, and then you can you can choose a walk on, which is just like you know your own sound alert when you show up. You can have it automatically happen if you show up in stream. I wouldn't recommend that if you're a lurker though, uh, but you can also do it so you can get it manually. So uh, you can, and you can also upload your own sounds. Like you can choose between sounds that are on, like in the library, on the, in the blurp panel. I forgot to say that it was blurp. It's the blurp panel. Um, <laughs> so there are uh, sounds that are like already made, but you can also upload your own. Um, I've only done that once. I've uploaded my uh, my own once, uh, and that was. <laughs> <laughs> that was for my walk on in Ron's stream where he says, "Stop, Vep." <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's hilarious. I highly recommend making your own clips though. It makes it so much more fun. Um, <laughs> you won't uh, uh, wait. I read that. Um, it was top tier. Mm -mm. I'm glad you guys liked it. It was very funny. He's just the bottom. It is how it how it be. And he, there's. That is also, you know, perfectly fine to be a bottom. Be a bottom if you're a bottom, you know? She's not Lydia. She don't need to carry his burden. Wait. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> uh, you want, want him to be the bottom or the top? He can give us. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Goosterian, yeah. <laughs> um, it's so funny. We we're gonna we're gonna continue playing more Baldur's Gate three tomorrow. I realized, you know, I should probably have talked to other people in between, you know, the time when I uh, after we like agreed to to meet up later that evening, and then before we we did anything in the game. I should have talked to the other NPCs. I'm like, oh damn, why didn't I do that? Because I did it with the other, like the, in the first save. Um, so I should have done that. I, I forgot about it. It's, I've been live for, I was live for nine hours on Tuesday. I, I forgot a lot of things, which reminds me because I made such a fatal mistake. <laughs> I added a new uh, command, uh, no, not command, uh, channel point redeem to make you guys help me remember to, to save uh, because that was, I learned that the hard way. Uh, I mean, I have learned it the hard way in a lot of other games before. It's just, I just don't seem to learn. That's the problem. <laughs> I, I need a reminder. Um, so yeah, there's a new there's a new point redeem for that, and also you can now be second and third, as I mentioned earlier. So Gobi is today's first, Black Cat is today's second, and Chris is today's third, not third, but third. <laughs> never played Skyrim. I did, I did. Uh, I just never used her as a. Also, I, I don't. I'm not really good at remembering all the names, but I don't think I used her as a companion. Um. In my last playthrough of Skyrim, I had, um... How was his name again? The Khajiit. My best bud. Damn, I can't believe I forgot my best bud's name. Um... You get the feeling more is a fan of a star... <laughs> I don't know if he's a fan, but, you know, um... Th that's that's kind of my, 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 my feeling that, that a lot of people... Sure, I, I get that he can be kind of rude, uh, sure, but most people who seem to dislike him are men. And seemingly, or like most of them that I've seen uh, are straight men. So, um, I'm just saying, could it be that they just a little bit envious? I don't know, I don't know. Because so many, many... I don't, I don't know about men, probably some men too, but I haven't met them. Um, a lot of women seem to, to really like Astarian, you know? So, uh, could be, could be. Hey, 
Daniel, how are you doing? Well, guess what you need? Are you... Are you working? Are you working? No, don't be working. Well, I mean, working is... is we can all have to do it in, to, to some degree, but you're working too much. You're working too much. But I, I really hope that the rest of your shift goes by swiftly and you can go home and relax afterwards as soon as possible. <laughs> when I'm both brought to top tier, you will. What? They're mad because he's hot. It's true. It's true. It is very true. Um, it is that that is how it is. All know the likeliness of that. That yeah, the the, the the that's that's probably not gonna happen. But also yeah, for those of you who weren't here on Tuesday, uh, the reason why the stream was so long wasn't just because I made a mistake with the the saving and everything, and had to do the whole defending of the grove. Uh, not just twice. I mean, I succeeded twice, um, but I had to do it like four times. Um, we also did a tier list for the first three hours. I was not expecting it to take that long. I was like, maybe one hour, maybe one hour. That, that seems, you know, yeah, no, it was three hours and, uh, but now we learned. Now we're gonna try to be more efficient next time, so we won't take up um, almost a full stream. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens next time. Can I be? I I need one myself, Daniel. Uh, so I, I I'm sorry, I can't help you there. Um, if I had all the money in the world, I would I would. I would gladly have a bunch of people that I know not have to work at all. Uh, <laughs> but I, I I don't have a lot of money either, so unfortunately. We're just, we're just all gonna have to struggle for a bit, I guess. Uh, Gale looks better. Really? I don't know. Uh, not, 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 not to me. Um, it looks very generic. Very typically Western man, white man. Not my, not not my type, not my type. Last night you had an interesting situation. Your mom was babysitting your nephews, and the older one, nine years old, was really into YouTube and knows all about Twitch. <clears throat> you know how they got to the sub subject, but they were talking about streamers, and your mom told him. Uh, you don't stream anymore, but moderate for a um, moderate for a streamer. He wanted to know who so he could watch and come to, to chat with you and your popular friend. You were like, eh, probably not the best idea. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, that is sweet though. But, uh, that, yeah. It was cute that you called popular friend. It's also true, but it was cute. I really wanted to watch streams, be in chat, so you had to explain that the stuff you talk about just isn't appropriate for him. He was not pleased. Aw, I'm sorry. <laughs> That is adorable, though. Yeah, I my my stream is eighteen plus for a reason. So, n nine years old. I it's because you know got, gotta gotta <laughs> try to protect the the innocent minds a little bit at least to to some degree. Obviously, we can't control what everyone does on the internet all the time, but at least we can try. But. Yeah. When I become rich. <laughs> you can be my chef? Hmm. That does sound like a good idea, I will say. Which reminds me, uh, I don't know if any of you watch uh, the anime called uh, Dungeon Meshi or Delicious Dungeon, as it's called on... It's, it's a Netflix original. And it's currently airing. It airs every every Thursday. So a new episode was out today. Um, so there are four episodes right now. Today, I watched... Well, the last two because I wasn't quite caught up. But 
and one of the people on the the anime Husbando tier list that I made on Tuesday uh, is in that show. I know we posted them uh, posted him just because you know it was funny, but he actually ended up on uh, on C because you know he's a good cook. Just saying, being being a good cook actually gives you a lot of points in general. Um, and today in the episode that came out today. He, he, I just like, what, what, a, what a great character. <laughs> so like, you know, yeah, he belongs there. He, he belongs in that placement. You know, he, he, he deserves it. Not just because he can cook, but he's also a really, really good character. I like him. I like him. Um, both are generic to you. Is it just because you don't like men? Like, in that way? Because I wouldn't- I would definitely not say that Astarian is a generic man. Um, if that is the case, where do you- where- where, where do you meet all of these dudes, Blues? Because I- I would like to know. <laughs> I would like to know. If you find him generic, I'm like, I don't know, I don't know. He's a typical vampire? No. No. I wouldn't- I wouldn't say that either. Can you suggest a tier list for us? That would be so funny. That would be so funny. I imagine that that could be very creative. It's why people are attracted to them. Astarian just has fancier words and Gil has pretty ones. No, no, no. I don't, I don't think so. I was like, I understand why some people could like Gale, but he's just not my type. Also, as I mentioned before, I'm not a huge fan of facial hair. Um, <laughs> is this the- yeah, black hats, yeah, you have all the- it's- it's Tina- all of Tina's emotes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's- that's the one. Um, <laughs> would probably be best Fortnite or Roblox YouTubers or streamers? Oh. I see, I see. Yeah, I wouldn't have anything to contribute with there because I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know any of that. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> hey, Sarah, how are you doing? It's nice to see you. Oh, it's nice to see you. You know, because someone didn't like Astarian until he said a certain phrase and now he's an Astarian simp. She's an Astarian. Really? Because for me, it was like an instant thing. Um, it, I, I didn't even have to play the game before. Like, it was. It, I, I have tried to avoid as much as possible, but I did watch when Rods played it a bit when, when the game came out, and it was like he, he's definitely the one that stands out to me. <laughs> so I was like. I was a little bit biased beforehand, like, you know, maybe I want to go for that dude. I don't know. Um, but then I tried to keep an open mind in case someone else would come along that I like better. So far, that has not happened. So we're going to stick with Astarian. <laughs> uh, Sarah? <laughs> Sarah? Has he ever said that before? That would be so funny. <laughs> uh, no, you're fascinated. It's it's true. It's true. Um, which reminds me, um, it's it's funny because, uh, you know, I follow some some anime pages like updates uh, update pages and stuff on on Twitter, and um, you know, I I've seen that the whole Blue Lock show is very popular. I don't- I, I haven't watched it because I- I don't like football and sports animes just- it's like I would like to like them but it just usually doesn't appeal to me because I don't like the sport to begin with so it's- it takes a lot for me to really enjoy it but then you know I've been kind of considering it and I have seen that there's a white haired <laughs> a white, white haired dude there that, that was like you know what this, 
this one looks cute. Maybe I'll maybe I'll give it a go. Maybe I'll give it a go. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. They, because it's so different between IRL and anime. Because like, well, first off, it's very rare to see someone who has white hair IRL. Um. But IRL, I would say that it's usually. I don't really have a type, but it usually it's more opposite of that. Um. But for some reason, anime is just different. <laughs> it's just different. Or, I guess we can say, um... I guess we can say, not just anime, but fictional characters overall. But... <laughs> almost certainly. <laughs> Chris! Uh, he's also apparently gotten into Five Nights at, at Freddy's recently, so he's... He would probably want to rank the best character, but isn't he a little bit too young for that? You're just assuming you don't actually know. You're curious if uh, it will be something less obvious. You think you will ask tonight, though. You feel like it'll take a solid four hours to explain what a tier list even is. <laughs> mm. Do you think so? I don't know. Nine, he, he will probably understand at nine. Um... Two things in life are certain. The sun will rise tomorrow and rods will always emphasize the first syllable of your username. Mm. Or the first, um... Uh... Vowel? You're imagining me pronouncing this like... <laughs> choking... <laughs> You guys. But yeah, so today we're gonna be playing Ghost Pia. Um, and I'm also gonna go live on TikTok as well. Um, so if anyone happens to be there, um, I would I, I would really like it if, if... Obviously, I don't expect anyone to be like on both at the same time or anything. But if anyone happens to like pop in... And if there's anything wrong with the audio or something, just to let me know, because I would really appreciate that. Um, because I, I, when I tried last stream, it, it, apparently it hadn't registered my mic and I didn't know. <laughs> and, and no one told me, so I, I, I just saw it accidentally. Oh wait, why is, isn't my mic working? Um, yeah. Anime is fantasy, which you can get into characters more because it's easier to fantasize about a relationship with them or them getting with someone else in the show. That's your thoughts on it anyway. Mm. I usually never really felt that way while watching any animes. It's become more of a recent thing for me, I would say. But I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I, maybe I've just been <laughs> too long. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you assume you'll get a lot of, but why? Every time you get a sentence out, so four hours seems fair. Oh, I see. I see. Mm. You know that ca that kind of checks out. I guess. If you're into a character, not a as a whole. Mm. I see. I see. Pushed into simptitude. <laughs> no. What? No, you don't have to shut up. I find it funny. Um, but yeah, we can get into the game. We can open the game. Um, just give me a second. I need to. I need to move the ads manager a little bit. I think. go mm -mm 
Open the game. No, <laughs> you have no chill. It's fine. It's fine. Do you think? Have you not seen me talk? I have very little chill as well. I'm gonna move this over here. Mm -mm -mm. You got about seven chill. That is quite a lot, isn't it? Good for you. I wish I had so that much chill. Mm -mm -mm. Also, I wish that, um, I wish that some, some games would just not stop having sound on just because you're using a different monitor. It's really annoying. I wish that wasn't a thing. Um, you want to test this set of emotes out? You feel like it's gonna, not gonna work the way they intended, but you're curious, you call him Potty Doggo? <laughs> no butt spots. <laughs> oh no, butt spot. You ruined it. <laughs> uh, God damn it. God damn it. Hmm. What? Oh, I figured it out. I, d I did something. I did something smart. I popped out the, the ads manager so I don't have to have the, the browser. Um. <laughs> okay. Um. You can have some if you want. You're pretty chill about it. Mm. <laughs> But spot did you dirty there? It's true. It's true. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna click on the go live thing. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Now we should we should be live on both. Um Did you see you can get more emote slots now? Again? Again? Wait, how in what way? <laughs> uh has there been any more updates after the <clears throat> um after the the seven animated emotes? Hmm. 
Because mobile chat is slow on your end, it showed that both of you interrupted it, but you can see from the overlay it was just blood spot. Mm. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, oh, you thought it was Chris as well. Ah. It worked. For me, it says that Sarah is in between Black Cats. Uh, Black Cats has two messages. <laughs> uh, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah ruined it too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So we're gonna we're gonna jump into the game. We finished chapter uh three last time and we're about to jump into chapter four. Um so we figured out that we got a we got a job last time. Us and the new ghost in town. We ended up getting a job. So that's interesting to see what happens next. Looks perfect for you, but do you see the chat in on screen? That's how it looks for me too. You were just <laughs> You said I saw it in CKT today, in between the the <laughs> um. God damn, I have so much on my desk right now, it's really pissing me off. <laughs> Classic Sarah. Um okay, soon. But spot with some hits there. Mm. But but it worked in your chat at least, Sarah. Oh. <laughs> um. Okay. As a self-proclaimed doctor and her bodyguard, we have an easy commute. Oh, it's showing the controls or the controller controls. Z. That's the one. Okay. Uh, all we have to carry is a simple box with the medical fees collected from the patients. Or perhaps I should say victims. Yor carries the box on the way to work while it's still light, and I carry the box on the way back home when it gets heavy. If business is good. I'm carrying the box right now. We're pretty tired, but it's not exactly because we worked hard or anything. In any case, after work, we get back to the apartment and stop in front of the door to our room. The lock's been hacked open with an axe or something. Even the knob's been torn off. Damn. It makes me sad just looking at it. All this time, I've never even thought about how a door might feel. Yor turns to me and looks me in the eyes without a word. I nod to tell her I know. I then kick down the door as hard as I can. And before the door can hit the floor... I pull a gun out of my coat and shoot through it once, then again, and again. No response. I then throw the collection box at the ceiling in the room. When the box hits the ceiling, it explodes into a shower of coins. You will just take this as a learned lesson and test it during an ad break. Mm. You won't chat here for no. Don't say that, Sarah. Don't don't say that. Hey, Barry, Esther Barry, how you doing? It is the me game. It is indeed. It's the ghost ghost me game. Everyone is shooting everyone in this game. It's it's only. <laughs> Again, when the box hit the ceiling, it explodes into a shower of coins. A voice says, Whoa, but it's neither my voice nor yours. Thanks for giving away your position. You see, I was only trying to get a bunch of coins on the floor so that if you stepped on one, it'll make a sound that would alert me to your position. So you just save me the trouble, I guess. The rest is simple. This happens every day, after all. I rush over and fire a shot at the crown of his head. Speed is key. 
just like it is with our commute to work. When I turn around, not only is Yoru standing there, but so are Pacifica and Anya. I vaguely wave to them. Anya says, What's up with that? While Pacifica waves back. It is what it is, I reply. As a self-proclaimed doctor and her bodyguard, we have an easy commute. But lately, I've got a heavy heart. Mm. So this is how the, the fourth chapter starts. Such a wholesome game. Mm. <laughs> Actually, it's it's it, it is kind of wholesome. It's just it, it's just because they're ghosts, so it's like they 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 have a very uh, casual relationship to, to to death because they can't actually die. So it's like it doesn't have the same weight as it does for us, you know. But you good? Just wish work was done. Hmm. Hopefully we'll go by really fast for you today, um, Barry. And tomorrow is the last day before the, the weekend. So, we're getting there. We're getting there. But also, um, I hope you haven't had any, any like, really long shifts other than those first two days of the week. <laughs> ah, goddammit, why do I keep getting hair in my mouth? So annoying. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for giving giving Sarah and Krauses and and, and Barry some some shouty outies. I appreciate the black ads. No, just Monday Monday and Tuesday. Okay, good, good. Because that would would have been insane. <laughs> Not doing that again for a while. Mm -mm. That's good. That's good. Thank you, black ads. Mm, must be a pain. Wait, hold on. Mm. Must be a pain. Oh, start episode four. Um, things are going fine at first, though. We've been worrying about something lately. And that's the fact that assailants, uh, <clears throat> assailants attack us on the way back from work every day. Priest definitely has something to do with it. He's barging into kids' rooms? I know he's a father, but he's not a dad. Here, coffee's ready. Yoru slams coffee cups onto the table, making more noise than necessary. The rims of each cup are slightly chipped. I suppose it's only to be expected, considering the cup cupboard- wait, hold on. Uh, the cupboard containing the cups was recklessly toppled over during the home invasion. The room was dirty to begin with, but it's my only home. And now that the enemy has invaded, it is no longer a safe place. It's a pain indeed. I stare at the rim of my cup to distract myself from the man's corpse still on the floor. This place is home to many memories. I can't say they're all good memories, but they're irreplaceable. And now, it feels like those memories were tainted. But perhaps this is my fault. It probably is. It's because of my improper methods. I don't know what they call themselves, but he must be in that worthless group of ho hoodlums who eat sweets around the clock. So he's not with the church? Well, yes and no. The church's power runs deep and wide, both economically and physically. Almost every business, association, and even hobby clubs runs with the support of the church if you trace the chain of command far enough. Whether the people at the bottom of the chain know it or not, they're finan financially backed by the church. The assailants attacking you are probably doing so under the orders of some scumbag boss. Either that boss, or that boss's boss, is probably under the orders of the church. So that's why they can do these things without batting an eyelid. And there's also the fact that other organizations wouldn't have any reason to target you. I feel bad. Her explanation is simple and logical, but if it's true, then there's nowhere to, to run. I guess you need to stir to your door, huh? 
We've saved up a bit of money, so if you could set us up, I'd appreciate it. As quickly as possible. Well, I'm not sure how much I can fudge the schedule personally, but I can manage it before long. How long is before long, exactly? Well, it won't take 9,999 days, that's for sure. That's not before long at all! Damn. Uh, so what you were trying to say before you so rudely interrupted Black Cats is that if... Uh, it, it looks like you can unlock new emote slots with sub points. You can unlock one static and one animated if you get to ten times what you currently have. Mm. Wait, so, okay, so the thing is, if you guys have seen, I don't know if any of you know, because I feel like most people who know about these things are either in CKT as a mod or they're streamer themselves. I, I don't know if anyone else has any interest in, in looking it up, but there's um, something called a Partner Plus program, which has now been extended to uh, affiliates as well. So if you have uh, over a hundred sub points, and it's going to start counting from the 1st of February. Um, if you have a hundred sub points, um, you will get a 60% um, cut of the, 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 the subs. So, um, streamers will now get more money from subs. Uh, if they reach a hundred sub points and have that for three months, because it's going to count for three months. Um, I don't know if it's like once you reach that, you will have that forever, or if you just need to maintain it. I, I, like I don't, I don't really know the specifics there. But what I do know is that apparently it only counts. Um, recurring subs so that people who are like organi organically subbed to you so they don't count um twitch prime or prime gaming and they don't count gifted subs so it needs to be people who just have paid for the sub themselves So in that sense, ha having a higher tier will give you more points, which would be more valuable in this uh, instance, but... Yeah, so it's it's kind of- it's still kind of difficult to do, because... Getting a hundred sub points... Means that you then- then have... Either you have... I think it was 17 tier th 3 subs... Or... <clears throat> 50 tier 2 su um, subs, or 100 tier 1 subs, so. And we're talking people now, individual people who sub, um, so. That's a high threshold though, you'll never e even be close to 100 sub points. Mm. Yeah, when it's recurring, it's really difficult. I... You know, I thought... I, I think I'm at the level that I expected that I would be at. Um, but I'm also still a little bit away from that. I say a little. It's like at least halfway. <laughs> Which is still quite a bit. It's, it's quite a lot already. But... But yeah, it takes it takes it takes a little bit for sure. But yeah, I shout louder than I expected. But the one I spooked the most with that shout was most definitely myself. I'm not mad or anything. Just a little tired, to be honest. Sayoko, don't worry. Most of the clients uh, at our workshop are my referrals, so I can help. Uh, so I can help ease up the line just a bit. What you need to do right now is bear with it, uh, with it just a little while longer, and that's something only you can do. So, 
Look, this guy got three magazines on him. Please don't show me that. Damn. I don't know when Yoru started frisking the body, but she speaks up after finding something. All the assassins have been men armed with a variety of weapons. Looting weapons from the bodies help us build an arsenal, and hopefully should serve as a deterrent, uh, deterrent as the enemy realizes they're just handing us more and more weapons. But there's no need to do that right now, is there? You think I frisk dead bodies for fun? Tell Sayoko you're sorry for being a shitty and considerate dumbass. I'm sorry for being a shitty and considerate dumbass. Kate? Hey, Almac? It makes- if it makes you feel better, you have zero sub points. Well, you know... D How long has it been since you streamed though, Kate? <laughs> but not without attitude. I mean... I have a pretty good attitude to it, you know? But it is nice to see you both. And also, thank you for the lurk. Well said. Wouldn't you agree, Sayoko? Sayoko, I'm not- I'm not you. I can't speak for you, and I don't know how it feels to be targeted by assassins every day, but I swear I'll track down the culprit for you. So please bear with it until then. You don't have to do anything else. Just bear with it. That's your job right now. Just trust in me. I think Pacifica is strong. Far stronger than me. She's right. You aren't me. I trust you. Well said. I give you a hundred out of a hundred. Satisfied. Pacifica let go of Yoru before leaving with Anya. It's been way too long. We miss Kate streams. Yeah, why are you not streaming anymore, Kate? No. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not gonna nag you about that. And people have different reasons for not doing it. Mm. Without me even saying anything, the two of them pick up the corpse and give me a nod as if to say, leave the rest to us. Once they're gone, I clean up the wrecked coin strewn room and murmur to myself. I sure hope I can bear with it. Hmm. Usually we talk about the patience of the day before going to sleep. But today, we're deathly, uh, deathly quiet. We still feel slightly reserved around each other. And we don't have much to do or talk about, so we simply get ready for bed. Sorry about earlier. I've been a little weird today. Or rather, these past few days. Everyone is a little bit weird. It's something I've been saying to my patients a lot lately. I see. That's reassuring. Yeah. After that short conversation, I turn off the lights. Who's that at the door? <clears throat> I wake up to the sound of the doorbell. Who could it be this late at night? Uh, I mean, this close to dawn. Door repair? No, it's way too soon for that. Package delivery. For a second, I wish Yuri would get it, but she's dead asleep. Even more dead than a ghost, with her leg entangled around mine. Yuri's pajamas are so unbuttoned, she's practically not even wearing them. I chuckle to myself because I've grown so used to seeing her like that, it doesn't even faze me. Tomorrow's going to be like any other day. I'll talk with Yoru and we'll go to work together. I slip on my slippers and slip out of bed. <laughs> That's a lot of slipping. Um, there's a slight crack in the hastily duct taped door. It's dark in the room and bright in the hall. I can see someone standing outside without even having to get close to the, the crack. 
Those boots are familiar. They're the same ones worn not by today's assailant, but an earlier one. And he's got a pretty heavy package with him. Excuse me? Whenever I loot a gun from our assailants, I toss it under the, our bed. If I just reach in, I'll find what I need. There we go. Just a moment. I worry if I'll wake up your room. Well, whatever. I'll be right there. I pull the trigger. Yor doesn't wake up. I just hear a groan from across the door. Damn, even a gunshot is not waking her up. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, Veld! How you doing? How you, how you doing? <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, but... <laughs> how you doing today? It's nice to see you. Mm. Hey! You still. Keep the door open and head into the hall. I do indeed recognize the man tottering up the stairs. Dots of blood line the floor, like a trail of breadcrumbs leading the way. The blood stains get bigger as I go up the stairs. It's a sign the man's getting weaker, which would normally be a good sign, uh, or a good thing. Hey! Guess you're always so used to gunshots that it doesn't wake her up anymore. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Hmm. Hey. That's why I think to myself, well, it should be fine. I've just become that desensitized to these sorts of armed conflicts. However... Something's a little off about this particular situation. Excuse me? That's not going to help you, you know. The man doesn't react to my warning, leaving us at a stalemate. By the way, ham's delicious. I haven't had any in a while. Do you know any good places to get ham? I've been living off of, living off of canned food lately. As you'd expect, the man just looks at me incredulously, as if to say, What's her problem? Now's your chance, um, whoever you are. Fire! That's the first word I hear from her. Wait, that's the first word I ever hear from her. She says it so spontaneously, my body just naturally flows into motion. It's as if my body were built to respond to that voice command all along. Her voice is curious, but not for that reason alone. It's sweet. Metaphorically, I mean. No, wait. That's maybe only half true. Somehow it really does feel sweet. It's kind of a strange sensation. Oh, um, don't mind me. I stare as steam pipes up from the cup of tea placed before me. Speaking of tea, I actually need some more to drink. Uh, and then there was a big uh, corporal meeting where all of the IT staff- Wait, wait, hold on, I missed the first one. You had a very- Also, we're getting an ad very soon, so I'm just gonna stop and read. You had a very angry argument with your boss, but you do believe that he finally got the hint of where you set your boundaries and that you do not tolerate being pushed to unreasonable expectations. That's good. That's good. I'm glad he got the message, or hopefully he got the message. And there was a big corporal meeting where all of the IT staff had to attend and listen to corpos talk corpos to all. That, that, that sounds exhausting. <laughs> But it's almost weekend, Veld. It's almost weekend. God damn it! Why do I have a hair in the way all the time? It's so annoying. <laughs> time to shave head. Mm. Well, now it's a little bit too cold for that, but you know, sometimes it would be kind of nice. I, I think. 
I don't I don't think being bald would look good on me though. <laughs> I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I don't I don't think it would look good on me, but you know. It would be very practical. <laughs> Ain't time for summer. <laughs> <clears throat> also, there was something I was gonna check out. While we're having an ad break anyway. Rock that buzz cut? I don't think I can. <laughs> Just remember to sun lotion your scalp. Yeah. I mean, I put on sunscreen anytime I go outside, so I would, I would probably... I will probably do that anyway. Hmm... I wonder if you can like pin messages on TikTok. I don't know if you can. <laughs> I just checked the Discord and saw the 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 screenshot of the the messages, Sarah. <laughs> uh. That's funny. Yeah, I don't know if you can. Let's see if it, it works. No, it doesn't. But it, it, it's okay. It's okay. It can just stay there. Um. Hey, Shane. How you doing, Shane? It's nice to see you. No, 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 no. What, what are you doing? I literally only clicked on the, the icon at the ta taskbar. Um, you used to have long hair like I did a long time ago. These days you don't have quite as much hair anymore. It's fairly evenly distributed over the surface of your head. You don't think you could still rock the long hair like you did until your mid twenties? Because do you feel like your hair has gotten like thinner or anything like that? Are you good? I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. It's good to hear. Which reminds me, I actually posted a TikTok of, of the clip um, of Sirius when he's on my desk and I just get a, a cat tail mustache. I feel like that's that's what happens to me all the time. Not so much with Tusta, but with Sirius, it really does happen all the time. Hold on, I can I can show you. It, it, you can see better now, but... Hey! Well, she's just walking around here now. Um... Hmm. <gasps> she gave me a little mlem, mlem on the nose! A teeny tiny mlem! You don't know if it's thinner, there's just much less of it? Hmm. I see, I see. Yeah, she 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 does kind of blend in with everything. Even though I have a pretty good lighting, you can't see her that well. It's just it's just void cat things, you know. And there's gray mixed in there too. I think I have like one gray hair, just one singular gray hair, and it's a very short one. She's not a full void. No, it's true. She isn't. She's just partially void. <laughs> yeah, we're back from the ads. We're back from the ads. Hold on. Okay. Uh, don't mind me. I stare as steam pipes up from the cup of tea placed before me. The rim isn't chipped on this cup, obviously. 
The one who made the tea is the tall adult woman who helped out during that scuffle. Her bangs cover her face, so I can't tell where she's looking or her read her expression. At the very least, uh, her lips look emotionless. She's honestly a little scary. Her stoicism and burly physique really contrast with the other girl's gentle smile and delicate figure. What's the most striking about the burly woman is the gaping hole in her gut. It's a gunshot wound from the bullet that pierced through the, main, uh, the man's body. I have no idea how much kinetic energy a bullet can man maintain after piercing through a man's body. But in any case, the bullet pierced through her clothes and there's blood soaking around the hole. It can't just be a flesh wound. Yet she's completely calm. And she's not the only one. Help yourself. I will. I will. Hey, small! How you doing? It's nice to see you. How you doing? Void buns are very cute, too. Hm. Old Void is cute. <laughs> it, it is but a flesh wound. Tis but a scratch. Help yourself. The other girl is just as calm, sitting in what appears to be a somewhat high-tech wheelchair. I guess her legs aren't good. The tire part of the wheelchair is smoothly and easily, move, uh, and easily moves across the rug without a problem. It seems like a pretty high-class item. It must run on super magnetism or anti-gravity or something like that. Are those technologies a commonplace now? I feel like they are. But I also feel like they're expensive. The other girl sits down a little bit of, uh, away from us, abruptly rolls up her shirt, and exposes the gunshot wound on her stomach. Oof. She then quickly takes a first aid kit out of a briefcase with a skilled hand. She quickly disinfects the wound and extracts the bullet with, a la uh, with large tweezers. She's so calm and nonchalant, you'd think she was just popping a pimple. Or maybe she is, you don't know. Um, are you okay? I call out to her without thinking. I'm the reason she got hurt, after all. Met. Um. My name. Don't worry about my injury. I train. I train. Miss Met's voice is way more gentle than I imagined. It makes me kind of happy. Though, I'd be happier if I didn't see the shiny red bullet in the tip of her tweezers. We're ghosts, after all. Even bullet wounds go back to normal before long. What's most important is to avoid immediate death. Huh. Uh, oh. Uh, I'm... Sayoko, I know. You're famous. Isn't that right, Met? Famous indeed. Huh. I'm sitting on a sofa in a room just two floors above ours, trying to make myself as small as possible. Our entire room is smaller than just this living room. At least, I think it's a living room. Is this still a living room if we're dead? Well, is this a dead room then? I don't know. Is this just how the top floor is? It's like the presidential suite of a hotel. Oh, I haven't introduced myself, have I? I'm Renata. Wait, it says meet Renja. Oh, yeah, I didn't finish reading that. <laughs> I'm Renata. I'd appreciate it if you called me Renja. Hmm. Okay, Renja and Miss Met. I'm glad to have you as a new friend, Sayoko. Renja leans forward and reaches out her hand. I quickly take her hand so that she doesn't fall out of her wheelchair. Something smells so nice. It makes me a little dizzy. What is that smell? I'm flustered, but she's smiling at me from across the table as she hugs a pink pl uh, plush toy that I feel like I've seen somewhere before, long ago. She's perfect. This is my room. 
Uh, I, uh, I see. She looks younger than me. Younger than Anya. Maybe around Clara's age. She seems more composed and mature than Clara, but she ends up looking to be the same age due to how... How she just won't let go of that plush toy. So I guess I can speak more casually with her. It'll feel a bit weird to act all formal with someone younger than me after all. Or is that just my pride talking? After overthinking it, I end up stumbling my response. Hmm. We got lady checked at the vet today. She's 100% purebred void. <laughs> she blends into everything at night, uh, at night though. And being that you're naturally clumsy, it's just not a good combination. Dude, that is so funny because Tusta here. It's not because of her, her fur. <laughs> but she is so quiet. She always just sneaks up on me. And doesn't make a sound. As we we call it in, in Norwegian, we have a we have a name for that. For people who or or animals who, who do that. Like um a, a sneaky wool blanket. <laughs> like a sneaky wool blanket. She she's just quiet and, and sneaks up on you. That, that's that's what she does. And then I don't know that she's behind me when I'm cooking or something, and then I almost like trip over her. And obviously I don't want to do that. <laughs> Wait, hold on. There's also something that I need to adjust really quick here. Okay. Um, the kitchen's in another room, you see. I I see. It might be a bit bigger than your room. You must be rich. It's because I make a lot of things, like what's on that plate. On the top of the plate are sweets wrapped in a stylish, uh, stylish plastic bag. Something you'd expect to see at a brand name store. So, uh, I guess she sells sweets. Maybe that's how she's earned her riches. I'd be happy if you drank that tea before it gets cold. It's more delicious when it's hot. Um... You're curious how I know about you, aren't you? It's because I've had my eye on you for quite some time, Sayoko. You have such long, beautiful eyelashes. Wait, that was very random of you to say, but thank you. <laughs> my heart skips a beat. Half out of joy and half out of surprise. Renja's got long eyelashes herself, and it seems like there's not a single flaw about her. I don't know how else to put it, but she's got an immaculate atmosphere to her. She's got the luxurious appearance of a princess, but the calm voice of a queen. She's refined and refreshing, like well-chilled imported mineral water that you'd find in a somewhat fancy supermarket by the station. Okay, that's a weird metaphor, but still. <laughs> but your hair could use a little work. Do you do proper hair treatment when you take a bath? Um... She hasn't taken a bath uh, regularly for I don't know how long. <laughs> um, hair treatments. That sounds like such a foreign word to me. In fact, I only started to take baths when Pacifica and Anya told me to. <laughs> but at least I'm better than Yori, okay? She doesn't even take baths if you tell her to. I'll share what I used uh, use with you. Oh, uh, no, I, I couldn't. That way, our hair will smell the same. Ah. Renja looks right at me with her reddish-brown eyes. Those eyes are pink. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't understand the meaning of her gaze. Despite Renja seemingly knowing everything about me, I have no idea how she feels at all. Uh, okay. You know, this tastes pretty good. 
for a powder anyway. Living things do not exist in this town. And perhaps for that reason, most food products aren't fresh. Processed foods like smoked meats, sausages, or vacuum-sealed quick meals. I don't even drink coffee brewed from roasted beans, just freeze-dried instant coffee. I don't have many opportunities to drink tea, but this tea is probably made from powder rather than actual leaves. After hesitating for a moment, I take a sip. It's sweet. But the flavor doesn't leap out at me. It just vaguely tastes like expensive tea. Oh? Oh? It reminds me of some tea I had with a friend when we went to a tart stand inside a department store. I think... Wait. What's a department store? Hmm. Garbage does that to you. He scares the fuck out of you all the time. When you're laying in bed, he'll just pop into existence. Same with going down the steps. He's nowhere to be found and suddenly just under your foot. <laughs> Going down steps, cat spawn trigger. It's true. It's true. Not that I have any stairs now, but I have lived in an apartment where I had a staircase where I had to like walk over her or step over her to not step on her because she would always be in the way <laughs> thank you for saving me don't mention it i mean it was kind of my fault to begin with you'll be my friend won't you that was very forward huh I know it might, might sound weird for me to say this, but I just thought you were so cool and amazing back there, Sayoko. I would love to have a friend like you, Sayoko. That is, if you think I deserve it. You know, maybe some good can come out of pretending to be a ninja in some strange town in the middle of nowhere after all. I don't know how to say it, but this experience is special to me. You see, it'll make me very happy. Ah, oh. <laughs> I'd be happy too. <laughs> well, that was awkward. We talked for a little while after that. The way Ren just speaks is different from the other ghosts I met. She carefully and cour courteously chooses each individual word slowly but surely, as if carefully constructing a building. She leads the conversation so well. Even I can keep up with her despite how I usually stumble at questions as simple as, how's the weather? As someone who's exhausted every day, this conversation is a blessing. Mm -hmm. Yo! When Yor and I enter the cafe, Anya raises her hand to catch her attention. You're early. Sorry for calling you out there, uh, out here. Hey, no sweat. You still look behind you when you get out of your office chair, even though it's been years since you had a cat you could roll onto when pushing out from the desk. Oh no. <laughs> well, that's good though. But yeah. All three of them try to do it. You think it's a game to them at this point? Whoever trips you is the top cat. Oh no. So rude. That's so rude. But hey, no sweat. Um What should we order? Don't bother with the new menu items. They're not very good. Really? I want to apologize for yesterday, but I can't find the proper timing, so I end up awkwardly biding my time. But Pacifica arrives soon enough, and after some small talk, we get to the point. 
Yeah, I guess as long as I apologize for the time we head out, I'm good. So, this is the thing I wanted to show you guys today. Anya tosses a small re resealable bag onto the table. Ew, gross. That is gross, but... That is a bug, and I don't think that they have bugs there. This is, it's also winter all the time. Ew, gross. In the bag is what appears to be a thumb-sized, oddly metallic pill bug. No, wait. It has too few legs for a pill bug. In any case, it's quite a curious creature. We found it on that corpse you took care of the other day. He had an unnatural looking wound, so I had to examine it. If your memory is accurate, Sayoko, her, uh, he revived a few days ago, correct? I wasn't sure if someone could get a wound like that in just a few days, you see. And what do you know? Jackpot. At first I thought it was an implant, or a beacon, or something. Then I thought... Why would you spend that much money on henchmen sent out, uh, sent on suicide missions? Anya picks up uh, on Pacifica's cue. There must be something Anya knows about this thing that even Pacifica doesn't. I listen intently. This thing is, well, basically put, a soldier controller. Receiver. Receiver. <laughs> so, essentially, there's a main control unit out there somewhere that can manipulate dudes with this receiver implanted into them. Mm -hmm. Controller? Main unit? Manipulate? I'm a little confused by all these video game-esque terms. <laughs> it makes me think we've come a long way. Both technologically and physically. I'm pretty sure I thought the same thing once before and tried to go to the other side- uh, to the other- uh. Ah! I can- I can speak! <laughs> I'm pretty sure I thought the same thing once before and tried to go to the outside world- world, yearning to go home. At first, I thought it was to ensure their henchmen don't go AWOL under enemy fire, but that doesn't make much sense. There's so many better ways to go get people to do what you say, like special rewards. Giving away all the sweets you can eat is the way to go. So you couldn't figure it out on the in the end? Who do you think I am? I'm Anya, the fearless leader. Of course I looked into it. These things were used in the closing years of the Great War, when upper, the Upper Brass was clearly losing command to their forces and needed to minimize the damage caused by defection. So they tried using technology to artificially solve low morale, huh? Basically. I wonder where these guys are sending their orders from. It looks like the main unit can send the orders do and don't. I think it works by comm commandeering the reward pathways of the brain and tinkering with them freely. Like how parasites can make grasshoppers gladly drown themselves in a river. At least, that's how I think it works. What does this mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? Well, you tell someone to do something and they must do it. Tell them don't and they must not do it. You lay down the rules. I don't know how much it'll cost to fully replace a brain with a machine, but unlike a, ro a robot or cyborg, ci cyborg, <laughs> these soldiers can think about various aspects of their missions, and can thus violate parts of their orders as long as they uphold the order overall. Now, that's a blatant disregard for human rights. That's true. Yeah, I guess it beats national collapse, though. You sound like an expert. Actually, I just heard this from an acquaintance of mine who happens to be an expert. He's a man, by the way. Huh? Um, yeah. So what? Oh my. What a lively reaction we got here. <laughs> um, 
Fun fact about pill bugs, they're not bugs, they're crustaceans. Mm. Yeah, they do like the, the humid humidity. Uh, so that actually doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Where there's humidity, there is a pill bug. <laughs> At least your brain is holding on to a compassionate, active muscle memory. Shows that you cared. Mm. Call them roly polies there. We call them... Directly translated. Monk lies. Monk lies. Monk lies. <laughs> Which sounds so stupid. <laughs> we loved her so much and miss her still. Aww. I'm sorry to hear that. Literally translated, the Dutch call them bed pits. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Also, Tusta, she's she's lying here on my mouse pad. What a lively reaction we've got here. I guess even Anya gets around, huh? Hey, cut it out! What do do's and don'ts were those guys told? We just don't know. Don't rat out your own boss, maybe? I see. That does make sense. Guess we've got no choice but to capture the next assassin alive. Hmm. Okay, I'll try. On the bright side, at least we're not dealing with gene-altering mutant manufacturing machine technology, I guess. Guys, he... <laughs> hold on. It's just, it's just so funny because she's, she's looking at the screen and she's like reacting when the, the... The text shows up on the screen. I'm just going to film it if I can. Um, but yeah. I'd say the odds would be 50-50 in that case. Teenage Ninja versus Mutant would still be a tough matchup, huh? Guns. It's only 50 50 if it's unarmed. Okay. And if we include guns in the mix, I chuckle knowingly. I'll leave it to you. Glad to see you're doing well. Mm. It's probably thanks to my conversation with Renja. It's also thanks to the support you all give me, too, of course. I feel a little guilty about not talking to anyone about my conversation with Renja. I just- I know I could just talk about it, but considering all the effort Pacifica and Anya just went through to make me a new friend, don't be a little rude of me to just casually mention how I made a new friend and had tea with her behind their backs. Um, I'm sorry about yesterday. Don't sweat it. It's all in the past. And thus, the plot to capture the next would-be assassin and cut him open, according to yours, suggestion. <laughs> On the way home, she buys the sturdiest rope available at the store, thus completing preparations. But unfortunately, or should I say fortunately, we're not attacked by any assassin on the way back. The man who used the delivery man approach yesterday was supposed to be in charge of today's assassination attempt. 
Since he jumped the gun and died, I suppose he's taking the day off. As I think to myself and space out, the phone rings. Hello? Hello, Sayoko? Sorry for calling so late. It's okay. I was still awake. Did something happen? Yeah, kind of. Can you come over to my house? Um... I take a look at Yor to see if she's dozed off while reading a book. It's a pain trying to wake her up. I really need to get uh, need to get her to pay more attention to the to the time. I'll go once I've woken up Yoru, but I'll take a little time. No, I'd prefer it if you came alone. But we don't know when the next attack will happen. It'll be fine, just for tonight. I guarantee it. Anya's here already. We'll be waiting. Okay, I'll hurry. I'm going. I pat Yoru on the forehead. I hear her mumble incoherently behind me as I head out into my in, into town. I guess this is my third time going to Pacifica's house. Since it's already late, or early, uh, I hesitate for a moment before ringing the doorbell. But Pacifica doesn't answer. Something like this has happened before, so I wait a bit before trying to I'm trying again. Figuring she might be using the bathroom or something. I try to simulate the situation in my head a few times to see what the best outcome would be. I feel a little happy that I've been remembering more and more things lately. An entire conversation plays out in my head as I wait. And yet, there's no sign of Pacifica answering the door. I really hope someone didn't break into her house to settle a grudge or to steal anything. I grab the doorknob. It turns without any resistance, meaning it wasn't locked. Something clearly, uh, something's clearly wrong here. I should have done this to begin with. I barge into Pacifica's house as vigil vigilantly as possible. Vil vigilantly, I guess. <laughs> I can't speak today. But when, when can I ever, honestly? There's no sign of any human, or rather, ghost presence. Instead, all that's in the living room is steaming food and coffee on the table. Normally, the smell of the food would make me hungry. But something feels ominous about this place. Someone must have broken in here after all. No, that wouldn't make sense. If I were a home invader, a table with food on it is the first thing I'd topple over. I decide to wait. Pacific is a busy ghost, I think. Perhaps something's ur something urgent came up and interrupted her meal. Since it's cold outside, I decide to take just the, the take just the coffee. Sorry for swiping the coffee. Perhaps this coffee was actually meant for me, as it's a little sweet. I sip the coffee and sit on the sofa as I wait for the owner of the house to return. At first, I'm a little worried if there's an invader or not, but the warm room, the fluffy sofa, and the scent of Pacifica's perfume lingering on the fabric relaxes me so much. By the time I start to feel a little bored, I get struck by a bout of sleepiness. Oh no, was the coffee spiked? Hey! Thank you for the lurk, Veld. I appreciate it. Sweet things are so relaxing, huh? Just like Pacifica. And Renja, too. I think Renja comes out on top in terms of sugar content. Pacifica's more of a mature taste. I try to get up when I start thinking weird thoughts like that, but it seems like I'm at my limit. I decide to take just a short nap. Pacifica might be shocked to find me like this. Hmm. It's a little hot. Pacifica's house has efficient heating, so I guess this is just how it gets sometimes. My eyelids feel so heavy, but I force my body to get up since I know I can't just sleep here forever. Hmm. 
Welcome back, Gobi. Welcome back. Pacifica? I open my eyes. Oh, damn. I wish I hadn't. No wonder it's hot. I want to believe that this is just a dream. I mean, I could try going back to sleep. The living room is engulfed in a sea of flames. Just about everything is on fire except for me. But it doesn't look like it'll be that way for long. I smell a faint hint of gasoline. I wonder why I didn't notice it until now. The scent's way more overwhelming than the smell of burning wood, fabric, or plastic. But this is arson, isn't it? But why? Wait, first things first. We gotta get out of here. With all the warning alarms going off in my head, I should have jumped out of my seat. But I don't. Huh? I can stand up, but not for long. Even if I brace my legs, the upper half of my body doesn't balance along with them. Mm. This is fine. Yeah, this is, this is fine. This is fine. This is interesting, though, because, you know, I, I was kind of sus. Well, I, I thought it was kind of sus when, when Pacifica was calling her, asking her to come over. But she didn't want um, Yor to be there. And I don't know if, if anyone remembers. Probably not. But last... Uh, last stream when I was playing this, uh, Pacifica was on the phone with, I believe it was the priest. And uh, now I'm starting to wonder what if the priest got to her and planted one of those things in her brain to control her. So she kind of lured us over to kill kill us that's what I'm th thinking that's what I'm thinking I tell my body to hold on but the command just fizzles out before I, it can spread all the way I'm frustrated but even the frustration fizzles out my mind goes blank it's like I tried to count to 16, but could only get to 8. I start to break out into a sweat, feeling my, uh, filling my clothes with unpleasant dampness. I need to use that displeasure as a tool to prop up my feeble concentration. When I totter over to the table, I consider placing my hands on the edge, probably due to smoke inhalation. Unfortunately, I probably can't run my way out of here. Run my way out of here. I look around. The window. To the window! No. <laughs> if I try going out the front door, I'm almost certain I'll lose consciousness before I get there. I place my hands on the glass. Oh no. Don't do that. Not directly, at least. And then with the thing in her brain, she starts thinking about the absolute and fine scale in the portal and what game is this again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wait, Sarah, are you are you actually playing Bulge K3? I thought you were saving it for stream. <laughs> yeah, I place my hand on the glass. I gather up all the strength I can muster and smash it. The fresh air touches my cheek. Almost there. Hang in there. Get your upper body out the window. Ugh. When my face slams into the ground, I know I've successfully escaped. I hear several footsteps in the snow. When I notice people gathering around me, I know that I've only gotten out of the fire and into the frying pan. 
Arson means there's an arsonist. And if there's one arsonist, why not several of them? Can you take them on? Ask myself. I don't think I can take them on. Can you do something? I don't think I can do anything. How many are we dealing with? About three men, I suppose. Why would they gang up on a girl? Isn't it obvious? I'll kill them. I assume it's supposed to be a K. Everything you couldn't do that day. I'll make it happen. I take a gun out of my pocket and without even taking proper aim, I fire at one of the men. What happens after that? Meets me. The world seems to move frame by frame, but with several frames missing. Before I realize it, I've dropped my gun. Ah, oh, damn it. The men glare at me. My body can't move anymore. Not even my brain. I'll... Kill them. The only thing inside of me is that single-minded intention. Time slowly drags on. The sudden sound of a siren snaps me back to my senses. The police car stops. Police! What's going on over here? A familiar looking plain clo clothes. Uh, a familiar looking plain clothes police officer shouts from the police car window. That was a mouthful of sentence. Mind explaining yourselves? Hmm. No, 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 you're testing, you had to test the game, that the game runs well. Sure, sure. <laughs> Gotta get that ball dussy gussy thread. No, what? what? Excuse me? <laughs> and then you had to test the character creator, because you want that to work on stream. And then you had to test that it works after the character creation a bit, just to, so it doesn't work for like two hours and then stops working. So just testing. I guess, I guess, makes perfect sense. makes perfect sense. When the, pol uh, when the officer tries to get out of his car, the men shoot at it. But all they get out of it is a few cracks in the windshield. Hey, you can't just shoot at a police officer like that, you know? The officer acts somewhat predictably, and then... Um, hey, ninja! Sorry in advance if I hit you. He says that before firing his shotgun. Oh, flashbang. I hear repeated alterations between gunshots, uh, sh uh, gunshot and pump action. Alternation, not alteration. Alternation. <laughs> between gunshot and pump action. The stimulation overload fries my burnt out nerves, leaving me completely disoriented. Before I know it, it's just me and the officer. Hmm. You have to mute the high-pitched uh, whine that keeps happening as sharp as heck on your, on your headphones. No worries, no worries, Gobi. Yeah. It do be like that. You'll take this opportunity to get food? Hmm. I mean, to be fair, I think my my desktop audio is a little bit louder than my mic as well. Now it should be the same. Um, you come back and there's more gun violence. What's this? <laughs> well, no, it's actually Japanese, but the other men run away. The police officer then turns to me and continues. Hey, no need to be so apprehensive. I'm on your side today. Liar. I'll kill you, I swear. I say exactly what crosses my mind. I see. Wow, that's scary. 
But his casual tone of voice is nothing but proof that the danger is gone. Which makes me happy and relieved. Maybe I can let my guard down just a little. And then... Ah. There's nothing little about me letting my guard down here since I lose consciousness entirely. Hmm. I wake up when I notice the characteristic rumbling of a car driving down the road. Every time the car shakes, my head aches, and I curse. Hey, uh, I don't think that's appropriate language for a young girl your age. Excuse me? I'm lying down in the rear seat. Sh uh, the chief's driving, so I can't read his facial expression. Why did you save me? Well, I rushed to the scene since the house was on fire. And when I got there, I found some men ganging up on a girl. And as a police officer, it's my duty to protect and serve you. I thought you were the enemy. The chief guffaws, ex ex exhaling, ex exhaling loudly with each ha. Huh. True. The police does have a cooperative relationship with the church. But it's not like the police's main duty is to serve the church. It's to protect the town. So, it's for convenience? We want to protect the town. And if that means picking sides, we'll pick them. Mm, so about the fire. We're investigating. We are. The home owner. Uh, hon hon owner, by the way. Homeowner. Pacifica? Yeah, I think she kind of had it coming, honestly. When you live that luxuriously, you have to expect at least a little arson. <laughs> yeah, guys, if you're rich, you, you have to expect some arson. It's just natural. It's just how it be. How old is she? I actually don't know. I don't think that they, they, ha they have, like, actual age, any of the characters, because, you know, they're, they're ghosts, so they they can't die, and they can't grow old, so they're just stuck in the same age. But they haven't really said, like, physically what age they're supposed to be. Because I don't know. If anything, I would probably, based on what they've said, I would probably guess, like, late teen? Teens or something? So you're saying the richer you are, the more likely your house is going up in flames? Good to know. Yeah, yeah, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, when you live that luxuriously, you have to expect at least a little arson. Pacific is not a bad person. That's right. Pacific is strong, smart, well connected. And most of all, she protects me. Well, in that case, the church isn't bad either, huh? She's not like the church. Nah, doing business on a scale like hers while also keeping the church at bay isn't as easy as you think. You gotta do some pretty messed up stuff to manage that. That can't be the case. She's probably trying to seize control of the town away from the priest. That's what they've been saying since forever, at least. Wait, hold on. Your apartment must be fireproof. Honestly, same. <laughs> My, mine must be too. Not only does my head hurt, now my heart's throbbing too. I don't want to hear it. I really don't. There's a side to Pacifica that I don't know. A side I'm too afraid to know. But what I'm most afraid of is losing my trust in her. I want to believe her. Believe in her. Everyone's whispering that she's seriously vying for the top spot of the food chain. She's got the strongest bodyguard in town on her side, after all. 
So that's what people think about my relationship with Pacifica, huh? That's not true. We're precious friends. Pacifica is the, the one who brought me out of my room, you know? Me? Chief silently nods. Why did Pacifica bring me out of my room? Is it because she needed me? Or just anybody with great physical strength? <laughs> Can't possibly be the latter. We delivered a letter today. That's something we do every so often. We've earned a fair bit of trust, see? And? It was a letter from the church to you-know-who. Before I realize it, I'm gritting my teeth. The palm of my hands hurt too since I'm clenching my fists and digging my nails into my skin. My coat's moist with a strange sweat. I feel so uncomfortable. I let out a groan. What was the letter about? How should I know? We just delivered it. But I can hazard a guess. On second thought, never mind. Oh, do I turn left here? Out with it. You'll get mad if I tell you. It's probably your, isn't it? Uh, now you... You know, when you get wealthy, the things to worry about is thieves, murderers, debt collectors, and home combustion. Combustion. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Now you know. The more you know, you know? <laughs> All those things can happen while poor too, but the likeliness is triple while living luxuriously. It's true. It's true. In Japanese, more means luxurious. Didn't you say that when I said that- when I asked if you were Norwegian? Yeah, because I thought you meant the, that, it, that it was supposed to be, like, a... A little bit of a pun. <laughs> I do remember. I do. I do. Hey, Noir! How you doing, Noir? <laughs> Wait, what did you... Thank you so much! I appreciate that, Noir. I'm just- I'm just looking at my- my- my TikTok. You just woke up? Wait, you haven't slept much at all then? I was- I was there when you streamed earlier. <laughs> Gotta get more sleep. But thank you so much. I appreciate that. T yeah, th that's what I asked. If people could, like, tell me if there was anything that I could do. And I have already turned it down quite a bit. Um, but yeah, now it should be better. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for telling me. Is it okay now? Hold on. Wait. You slept after stream. Mm. Wait, worse? How is it worse? I already turned down the the volume. I turned up the mic and I turned down the the game volume. So how can it be worse? <laughs> how does that work? I don't know. Uh, that's so weird. That is so weird. Okay, okay. How's it now? I have- I have, um... Turn- turn... My- my mic up and the- the game audio down. Quite a bit. But I don't know. <laughs> it's really difficult to tell because on TikTok it's like... It's not an easy way to- to see in- in the same way as- as... Um... Twitch. So it's I kinda I kinda need someone to tell me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's so weird. It's so weird. Um 
Is it good now? Okay, okay. I hope so. <laughs> uh, if you don't show up for a while and know that you spontaneously combusted. No, don't, don't, con don't, don't combust. It's not okay. <laughs> I am talking to, yeah, I'm talking to Noir on TikTok. Um, game audio just now was louder. Mm, that is weird. I, I can't turn it down even more. It's like, uh, wait. It's not the one that I meant to click on. Mm. It's really, it's really weird uh, compared to uh, to uh, OBS. I don't know why it's like that, but. Uh, you think you need to invest in restreams so the chat is reflected everywhere? Yeah, but you're not really allowed to do that, I think. Um, when it comes to Twitch. Were you just munching on some bread before you sleep? Ah, uh, wait, so you ha Wait, so you're gonna go back to sleep again? But yeah, it sounds like you need it. <laughs> because you can't have, you can't have slept for very long. Um, also, welcome back, Obi. Going out in a blaze of glory. Mm. Honestly, sounds pretty good. <laughs> it sounds pretty good. Um, not so soon. It's 4 a.m. Hmm. I see, I see. Wait, why are you up so, so early? Or late? I guess it depends on who you ask. <laughs> your, your sleep pattern seems very confusing, uh, Noir. <laughs> but I, I shouldn't talk. I'm the same way, so, you know. That's how it would be, being a, a degen. Hmm. Are you hungry? Yeah, go get, go get the food. Go get the food. You just get mad if I tell you. I can hurl you into a wall again, and I won't hold back this time. I tried to be as threatening as possible, and it looks like it worked, as the chief begins to speak slowly after a short pause. I just think it's something like, if you want to join us, now's your final chance. First they form a business partnership with her, and then they, they seize her sympathizers. That's their usual modus operandi, isn't it? That can't be right, can it? Well, that's just my take on it, anyway. What a weird take. I don't say anything after that. My head hurts too much. The officer says something and opens the police car door. In front of me is my apartment complex. My headache's getting noticeably worse, but I make a mad dash for my room anyway. The police really is poop. All cops are poop. As if I'm ever gonna thank you for anything. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Well, to be fair, he did shoot at her, so, you know. But also, yeah, again, Noir, thank you so much for telling me. I really appreciate it when people when people let me know when something needs to be, you know, fixed or tweaked a little bit because it's it can be hard to tell yourself. So any any help like that that can help make things uh, better or improve things is um, is very helpful. So I do appreciate it. Anyone taking the time to to let me know. Uh, and to be fair, like, this is the, the second time that I'm testing out streaming on TikTok, so I'm just like, it's, it is, um, also we're getting an ad on Twitch in, in a, in a, any second now. Um, so I'm, I'm just, I'm just testing things out now, uh, to, I'm not expecting everything to be perfect or really good right away, because... It's pretty much impossible. Um, so we we live and we learn, you know. 
We're, we're trying things out. Trying and failing. <laughs> But yeah, um, I have to say that streaming on TikTok is kind of weird. <laughs> hey, Pete. How you doing, Pete? As in, it's weird, like whole the whole setup and everything. But I, I really wish that you could all have everything in one place. Um, because it, it would make everything so much easier, but... Yeah. But there is uh, something about the how... Uh, there are some rules when it comes to uh, multi-streaming on Twitch. Where... You have to make it clear that the Twitch is like the main place that you stream. So you can't really draw any, any focus to uh, the other one. So you're not really... I don't think you're allowed to have a, a chat from a different stream on Twitch. On your Twitch stream. I think that's part of the rule. Every time. <laughs> a common typo. Yeah, a very common typo. The keys are right next to each other. <laughs> How are you doing though, Pete? It's nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, we're just having an ad break. It's just one one more minute and then we're gonna get back into the game. But yeah, honestly, like I feel like what I wanna do if I get to keep my uh uh my stream key for TikTok is to just I kinda wanna You know, maybe try making different type of content there. So I don't stream at the same time necessarily. This is just this is just me testing out because I'm already streaming here on Twitch. So it's like I'm just trying to Oh Gobi, thank you for the sixty nine butts. But <laughs> thank you, Gobi, for the sixty nine butts. <laughs> I didn't forget to mention Actually, I, I, I kind of did, but I wouldn't have mentioned it even if I did remember. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you for the 69 butts. I appreciate it. But yeah, it's like... I would probably do more, like... Let's say I go and travel somewhere. And I would like to do a just chatting stream from like a hotel room or whatever. And just hang out with people. Then I would probably say, you know, I'm gonna stream that on TikTok. So if you want to join in, join join on, join on TikTok, and then we can we can hang out there because then it's like, I don't have my full setup and everything. So you know, stuff like that would be fun to do, you know, because I've already considered streaming uh, while traveling and stuff. Uh, even though you know, I can't I can't play any games or anything, but I could do other things. Hmm. Dancing content? That's not happening. <laughs> that is not happening because there are creeps on the internet and I don't want to do that. <laughs> you nearly died? No, you didn't. It's it's fine. It's fine. But yeah, we're back from the ads. Um, I just need some water. When I get back to the room, yours asleep. Her lips are, uh, are at the odd sort of volume, where they can neither be called thin nor thick. I can't help but touch them. I figure sleeve a tawny trail. Maybe it's mud. Maybe it's soot. Maybe it's blood. I think this chilly, clean room is a stark contrast to me. I feel out of place here. I'm filthy from crawling out uh, on the floor through the fire. I still feel hot. 
Only now do I notice the burn on my on the base of my neck. Guess I'll go take a bath. Maybe that will lighten my mood. That must mean my mood is bad. I suppose I do take a bath whenever I'm in a bad mood. When I take off my clothes and timidly give them a smell, they definitely stink. Like a flea market of bad smells. Ugh, I whisper to myself as I toss every last article of clothing into the washing machine. I then head to the narrow bathtub of my modular, modular bathroom and twist open the hot water faucet. Crap. I curse my own foolishness for not drawing the bath first as I shiver in the cold bathroom with my clothes in the washing machine. If I'd filled the, the tub first, I may have just jumped in as is. But as it stands, it just feels kind of wrong to get into a half-filled tub. I feel cold. Wait. I got bath towels, don't I? I turn around and look at the shelf behind me. But when the bathroom door opens, wearing her pajamas, Yor looks this way in surprise. Whoa! I grab the bath towel on the top shelf and hide my unsightly self. We may be roommates, we may sleep in the same bed, but we still got boundaries. And it's Yoru of all people. How could I be comfortable showing myself to her? You're taking a bath too, Sayoko? That's unusual. Well, yeah, I have to now, every now and then, at least. I got a soily taste in my mouth as I was sleeping, so I realized that I haven't been brushing my teeth lately. You should probably go do that. Brushing your teeth is important, isn't it? Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, they were roommates? Yeah. <laughs> Indeed, they were. <laughs> um, yeah, apparently your teeth will rot if you don't brush. That's true, that's true. Remember to brush your teeth at least twice a day, guys. Huh? That's kind of scary. I kind of like these awkward conversations we have. It's familiar and relaxing, like a pair of shoe you've broken in. I got a little dirty myself, so I need to go clean up my body. It's something I like to talk about once I'm done taking a bath. That was a very weird sentence. She caught me by surprise. This could actually be a big chance for me now that I think about it. It's almost dawn. Our obligatory curfew, where ghosts cannot maintain consciousness. What I have to tell Yor isn't easy to, uh, to talk about. And I don't know how to follow it up once I'm done. That's why it's reassuring that I can rely on Dawn to forcibly bring any and all conversation to a close. It's a little unfair, I know. I figure I'll warm, warm up my courage in the bath. But as soon as that idea crosses my mind... Yoru nonchalantly speaks up. No, it's fine. We can talk here. You can go ahead and take your bath as we talk, Sayoko. Huh? Ah, the tub's gonna overflow. Whoa! Enjoy. <laughs> uh, man with her cats. Maybe roommates who may sleep in the same bed, but we have boundaries. Mm. Exactly. If you brush your teeth well enough, once is enough, no. You should do it twice. You should do it twice. It has it has nothing to do with how well you brush that one time. <laughs> because you need to brush your teeth when you wake up because in the morning, like there are certain gases in, in your body coming from your stomach that will, you know, kind of well, not be good for your teeth. So you should brush your teeth in the morning because of that. And then you should brush your teeth before going to bed because of everything you've eaten and stuff uh, during the day. That can be... leave traces on your teeth, you know? So there are kind of two different reasons why you need to brush te your teeth twice. Hey, Wee! Welcome back! How you doing? Urged by Yoru, I head to the full-to-the-brim bathtub and plop my body into the water. 
After a second of thinking, I shut the curtain. Even I need my privacy sometimes, you know? The scent of fresh steam bellows up from just below my, my face. <laughs> I was about to say my, my surface. Uh, <laughs> just below my face. Even when I'm in an unknown town in some faraway country, this alone remains the same. Even when I've become something as incomprehensible as a ghost. On the other side of the curtain, I can hear Yoru starting brushing her teeth. I let out a, a long sigh. Hey, Yoru, can you hear me? Mm hmm, Yoru grunts. I guess that means she can hear me. Hmm, having to ban scammers on Discord is fun. Yeah, it happens quite a few times for me as well. <laughs> I think I had banned someone two days ago, last time, in Discord. It's like, as soon as someone joins your Discord and they say that they're an artist, and you don't have any uh, servers in common, it's an immediate ban for me. And if they have like a, a drawing or an, anim an animated picture, as a profile picture. Um, just a warning, in case anyone isn't a scammer. Uh, and actually are artists and they're not trying to sell you stuff. Might we have to rethink uh, having that in your profile because I'm not the only one who does that. Uh, just, just saying. <laughs> Earlier today, Pacifica to uh, called me on the phone and said she had something important to talk about. So I should go over to her house. You could have woke me up so I could come do. <laughs> I should have woken you up so you could come too? That's what I was thinking, but she said to come alone. Though, I guess it'll be less dangerous if something happened along the way and I was alone. Well, something did indeed happen, which is why I'm bringing this up now. It's a good thing that I didn't bring Yoru with me. I didn't catch that, but you want to know what happened next, huh? Well, when I got to Pacifica's house, nobody was home. And like an idiot, I fell asleep. And when I woke up... I fall silent for a moment. Or rather, I can't fight it in me to keep talking. I recall that moment of despair. I got a thick skin, and a thick skull to, a skull to boot. At least, that's how I've always seen myself. But when I think about the despair and hopelessness I felt that moment I woke up, the back of my throat clenches and I can't get any words out. Everything... burn... room... I... Perhaps catching on to my current state, Yoru stops brushing her teeth. The pathetic sound of my wheezing echoes through the bathroom. I lose track of the passage of time after that. The sound of rustling clothes mix, mixes in with the sound of my heavy breaths. The curtain opens. Excuse me, can you scooch in a bit? What? <laughs> a fully naked Yoru steps into the bathtub, pushing me a little to the side. The excess water gushes out with a heavy, uh, with a hearty splash. It seems kind of wasteful. Um, why? We share a bed, so why not a bath too? We stay together and bare skin together so we can lay bare the truth together. You know, that um, showing skin to each other in a friendly way thing you told me about, Sayoko? That's so weird. It might be weird, but I don't mean anything weird by it. You're overthinking things, Sayuko. Huh. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> You're more annoyed at the ones that try stealing accounts? Oh. Have they tried stealing your account, Wee? 
two-step ver verification is important. That is true. That is true. Anytime I register any place now where they offer that, I immediately choose to have two-step verification. Uh, Hey, we, it's me, your cousin. I've forgotten your Twitch password. Can you let me know if not, the FBI will arrest you in 24 hours? <laughs> Just had to deal with one of those. I reported your Steam account. Click here to appeal. Uh, scams again. And you really know that people are using a server you moderate to find scam victims. It's just very yikes. Yeah. That's why I try to ban the people who join my Discord as soon as possible. Because I know that it has happened uh, a few times before. That scammers that have joined my Discord have started messaging people in, in, in my server. And I don't want that to happen. But my, my advice is just to... If you don't know them, if you haven't talked to them anywhere else, don't answer direct messages from people you don't know. If they haven't talked to you anywhere else before. Because... There's no point. There's literally no point in talking to someone. Like, no one has any business messaging you. Like that. Because they can't- they can't message you somewhere else before and ask for permission. Ask for con for consent to message you. Um, they don't have to message you first. And then, yeah, I don't- I don't know. I don't, I don't like that. I- I never really reply- I reply unless I already know them from somewhere else. And even then, I don't necessarily always reply either if- I feel like they might have some other intentions. They were roommates? Yeah. <laughs> they are roommates. It's true. Hold on. I also need to scroll up a little bit. Um, Someone tried to scam you, sending you a message saying your payment for parking didn't go through and to click a link to try again. You didn't. don't even have a driver's... Yeah, exactly. Like... <laughs> Yeah. That has happened to me a few times as well, that I've gotten messages that is supposed to be alarming, but it's like, this doesn't apply to me at all because I don't partake in what whatever you're messaging me about. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to tell us if it went through the second time, or are you leaving that as a cliffhanger? Wait. <laughs> Uh, it did more expensive than you thought it would be, though. Glad you don't have a car because parking would be expensive. Mm. <laughs> Two-step verification is old. Dub-step verification is where it's at. Please insert webs to continue. <laughs> Go be. Um, not yours. Scammers are smart enough to not try scamming server staff. Got pinged by someone who got a DM from, from one of those. Hmm. It's not really the server owner's fault, but yeah, when it's your own server, it's hard not to feel kind of responsible. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like, I know it's not my fault, but it is kind of my responsibility. There's no point in you talking to anyone. <laughs> Go be. Well. <laughs> well, okay. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Whenever Yoru talks, a fresh but artificial mint scent tickles my nose. I don't remember telling her about that cultural tidbit. In fact, it feels more like a cultural tidbit between boys, if anything. But maybe I'm just upset that I can't remember telling her about it. <laughs> Tell me everything that happened. I want to know. This bathtub wasn't made for two. Her legs are touching. I can feel her body heat, which is a little lower than the heat of the water. To keep my eyes from wandering, I look at my knees. I got a scrape. When I woke up, everything was on fire. I was scared. So there are things even you're afraid of, huh, Sayoko? Of course there are. Lots of them. That must have been a scary experience. Yoru's hand moves underneath the surface. Her fingertips crawl around my calf, like a ghost without a place to go. 
You've been saving guns underneath the bed, right? I got a few, at least. Where's she going with this? I was organizing them earlier, and I found one gun that looked familiar. What do you mean? It was that big gun that Pacifica used the other day to shoot that Mo What's-His-Face guy. I do remember that gun. Pacifica swiped it off of Mort when he suddenly rushed into her house the other day. She did say, This thing's dangerous, so I'll keep it in the vault until it disappears by itself, didn't she? My fingertips feel cold. Even though the water's so warm. It was an unusual gun for sure, but maybe this one's just a doppelgunner. Doppelgunner, not doppelgunner. <laughs> a doppelgunner. They're probably just similar guns. I mean, they're mass-produced after all. I got scared thinking why Pacifica would give that gun to one of those hooligans. So scared, I couldn't mention it. Maybe she needed the money or something. Yeah, hopefully it's something like that. Okay, your turn, Sayoko. Huh? You don't have to talk if you don't want to. But I think talking things through will help you feel a little bit better. Um, that's my opinion as a specialist, at least. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I'm fine, but I just suck at talking, so I might... Uh, I'm sorry. In slow, stuttered words, I managed to tell her what happened after that. How the chief happened to come to my rescue at the unpleasant things he told me after... And the unpleasant things he told me after that. If we were talking anywhere else besides the bathtub, I might have withheld several details or exaggerated the, the number of men... Wait. <laughs> I might have withheld several details or exaggerated the number of men threefold. And I definitely f wouldn't have told her about what I heard from the chief. But the warmth of the water and the sensation of your skin make me feel so relaxed. And well, bare. that I can't help but bear the truth. I see. That must have been rough. I was scared. Just a little. Now someone is sending, sending random friend requests to people on the server? Yeah, that happens. <laughs> that happens. Uh, I got a random friend request last night was the last time it happened. It happened so many times each week. It's so annoying. If anyone ever asks you to moderate a big Discord, say no, it's not worth it. Mm. <laughs> it doesn't even have to be a dig, big, a, a dig, a big Discord, uh, a, a dig Biscord. <laughs> they, they, they are everywhere. Uh, the scammers, they, they, they're crawling all over Discord. Yeah, a dig Biscord. <laughs> I was scared, but just a little. Are you still scared? Just a little. I see. Yours starts stirring, and for some reason, she strokes her wet fingers through my hair. I think I'll take a break from my medical practice for a while. I softly gasped at Yor's declaration. Because I had a feeling we'd have to talk about that once we got out of the bath. But... It took her so much work to get that job. I don't want to take it away from her. Even someone as dense as me can tell that Yor thoroughly enjoys that job. But she might be the next thing to go. I was ready to protect her, even if it meant taking away the only joy in her life, even if it meant making her hate me. 
I'm sorry. We have nothing to apologize for. But in the end, I didn't need to tell her to quit her, uh, quit her job. I didn't have to make her hate me. It's such a relief. It feels like a weight has been taken off my shoulders. Sayoko. Yes? I'm so sleepy. Yeah, me too. Yours droopy eyes look quite sleepy indeed. Mine must look just like hers. I see. The sun must be starting to rise beyond these small bathroom walls. Ghosts are creatures of the night and are therefore not allowed to be awake in the light of day. That's why we inevitably... Inevi <laughs> That's why we inevitably grow tired and fall asleep. I guess this is fine every now and then. These characters are adorable, by the way. They are. I really like the characters in this game. You feel like it got worse when you enabled the discoverability thing? Appearing in Discord's own list of servers just makes you an easier target? Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, because you can, you can make it as a private or an invite-only Discord, I suppose. I guess this is fine every now and then. We're too tired to even get out of the bathtub. Whether we like it or not, our senses seem to dissolve into the bath water as we doze off to sleep. The situation reminds me of something. Alright. Oh, A double suicide. Death dissolves the boundary between the two of us as we melt into a puddle together and disappear. It's a fairly blessed feeling, to be honest. It sure beats the feeling of decaying in isolation, at least. She's my other half. I have to protect her. At least, that's how I feel. And just like that, it's morning. I think. Hmm. The art style is really cute. It is. It is really cute. I really like the art style because it's like, it's very clearly hand drawn, but also very anime at the same time. <laughs> uh, when a major event happens, it's not the event itself that changes us. What changes us is the new normal brought upon it as uh, brought upon us by it. If I were to become someone completely different tomorrow, then both I and everyone else around me would be able to notice. But that's not what actually happens. We change so slowly, nobody notices. By the time you do notice, you've already changed past the point of no return. I'm walking through the garbage dump again today. Because if Pacifica and Anya are back, then they should show up here. But they haven't come back. Either they didn't die, or I just missed their revival. The attacks have stopped, both at home and on the streets. But I have no idea why. Were the assailants after the- uh, where- were the assailants after those two all along? Okay, that's a- that's a mistypo, <laughs> so I was like, wait, th that's a confusing sentence. <laughs> Were the assailants after those two all along? No, that can't be. They had to have been after either me or Yoru. Something changed the night Pacifica's house burned down. But I don't know what. And that frustrates me. But it's not like being frustrated about it will help me figure it out. How long should I keep your locked up in that room? I walk a lap around, and then another lap for good measure. 
Looks like I'm coming home empty-handed again today. I see a black luxury car parked out beyond the garbage dump gate. The rear seat window slowly opens. Sayoko. Good evening. It sure is cold. Come on in before you freeze. Oh, thanks. Good evening to you too, Miss Met. Hmm. How did it go today? I shake my head. <laughs> I see. How's your roommate? Things are a little awkward since I said something mean. While I'm out here walking freely, you're unable to work because of me. Unlike me, she's unable to defend herself. She, she, wait! Wait! Tater! Wait! <laughs> Welcome in! Welcome in! Thank you so much for the raid! How's your stream? What are you playing? What are you doing? Thank you so much! <laughs> Hello! Greetings from the Tater Farm. Nice, nice. Thank you so much. You could have you could have raided anyone and you raided ra raided me. <laughs> Thank you. Also, welcome back, Sarah. Long time no see. <laughs> oh, let me give you a shout out. Um Let me give you a shouty outie. There we go. There we go. You were playing Heretic's Fork? Wait, wait, what is that? I don't think I've ever heard that before. Or heard of that before. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the follow. Also, we do have anonymous follows in case anyone uh, wanted to know. Um, <laughs> in case anyone wanted to know. Um, hey, my hero Goob, welcome in. And Teeter Totter, how you doing? Welcome in. Um, <laughs> it's so nice to see you though, Tater. Uh, now run as quick as you can, Tater, like Forrest Gump. Why? Why? Don't run. <laughs> uh, Tater is late picking up his daughter from school, so he's already... Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Then then I understand why he would be running. Um, that, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense, obviously. Uh, ra raiding and running in is always okay, but especially then. <laughs> um... Your week is going by quickly, which is always nice. It's been chill so far. How am I doing? It's I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, but yeah, honestly, this week has gone by pretty quickly so far. I, I actually feel that, which is a relief. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been pretty chill here too. Mm, watch out for a sassy butt spot if you're new here. Yeah, yeah, but but butt spot do do be doing its thing. Getting up in everyone's uh, but buttness, <laughs> or making people's business uh, its buttness instead. I guess. At least we know now. No teeters, uh, butt is going by quickly. <laughs> Your butt is going by quickly. Not sure how to interpret that. Hey, it's like they say, get your ass uh, into motion. I guess. Maybe maybe there's a literal. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so for those of you who are new here, uh, my name is Replicos. I am a Norwegian streamer. I play all kinds of games, a lot of indie games, a lot of Metroidvanias and platformers and some difficult games, some some souls likes as well. Uh, right now we're playing a, well, in, in the sense that you can play a visual novel. Uh, it's a game called Ghost Pia. Which is, well, I chose it mainly because, you know, my actual name is Pia, uh, which is a very, well, not very, but it's, a, you know, it's, it's a, it's a Norwegian first name. <laughs> so I figured, you know, it's not every day that you find a game uh, that has the name, the same name as you, when you have my type of name. <laughs> so I figured, you know, I want to give it a go because I also like the aesthetic of it. So um, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. And it's honestly, it's a really good game. 
a lot of reading, obviously, because it is a visual novel, but I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it a lot. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> um, channeling your inner tater. The game is fun. You do excellent every time, obviously, because you're just that good. This was your third session. Looking to play it again tomorrow and finish it up then. <laughs> Is that what he would actually say? That's I will I will I will take your word for it, Sarah, because I trust you. I trust you. <laughs> but also, yeah, we are live on TikTok as well right now. It's like it's just my second time trying to stream on TikTok, so it's more like a test the thing. It's like I I It's very borky still, and uh, I have had some some issues trying to figure out the right volume settings and stuff so you know it's it, we're not we're, we're doing we're doing the thing but how well we're doing it that's not as important <laughs> it's just warming up a little bit you know um but yeah 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 uh, also i i really I really hate it when games stop making sounds when you just use a different monitor. I wish that wasn't the, th uh, the, the, the case, but it is, unfortunately. <laughs> he would be too shy, but that's what he would say because he's just that good. <laughs> um, but yeah, what is the game about though? Anyone who has been hanging out in the stream, because I've never heard of it before. Uh, you gotta get going. You need to save the world in F Final Fantasy XIV again. Thanks for the stream. Stay cool. Thank you so much for being here, Gobi. And uh, yeah, go save the world. Go, go do it. I believe. I believe in you. <laughs> mm. But yeah, unlike me, she's unable to defend herself, so she can't walk outside alone. She has enough money for the time being. But it won't last her forever. There's a lot of tension over various things right now. Which is why we haven't talked much recently. I told this to Renja earlier. It looks like she remembers. I see. Things must be tough for you too. There have been several difficulties. Renja, and of course Miss Metz. I've been have been picking me up by car here. Uh every once every few days lately. I touch the luxurious leather seat with the palm of my hand. Leather. A dead good. The dead good, maybe. Um sorry for making you drive all the time, Miss Metz. You can drive next time then. You don't want me to drive. <laughs> um, just a joke. <laughs> Your jokes are boring. You'd better, you'd be better off just not telling them. Ouch! Ren just snaps at Miss Met with a spine-chillingly cold voice, unlike the playful, loving banter that Pacifica uses when rebuking Anya. I'm sorry. You're sorry. <laughs> Damn. What do you want? To get in the way of my fun? To be part of the conversation? Oof. No, ma'am. Right. It should be obvious. My apologies. Don't do it again. Damn. That's kind of rough. It's a tower defense with deck building, so you use cards to improve your tower and then shoot centers so they can't escape hell. I see, I see. Kinda like a roguelite deck builder with tower defense, I guess. That sounds like a lot of things in one. I'm intrigued. How dare you- <laughs> Don't text and drive- No, don't, don't do it, don't do it. Uh, you're so sorry you had to raid and run. It's wonderful to see you today. Thank you so much for the raid, though. And obviously, yeah, I mean, Sarah said why you had to raid and run. Obviously, 
as I said, raiding and running is always okay. <laughs> but, yeah, obviously I understand. But I hope I hope drive safe. Uh, it's a bit of a confusing game, but you love it so much. Hmm. Yeah, it sounds like you might have a steep learning curve, maybe? I don't know. Renda turns to me and says, Sorry about that. Her voice is so warm. It's confusing me. It's ominous, even. What exactly is the relationship between Renja and Miss Met? Sarah? Thank you so much for gifting Sep to, to Tater. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> that is very kind of you. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the sub, Tater. <laughs> thank you, Sarah. Yeah, now you can now you can use the emotes. You don't have to worry about ads or anything. Uh, I I do draw all my emotes myself. So I hope you like them. Which I'm saying that now because I'm gonna try to draw a new emote when before the week is over. Uh, I'm gonna try. So we'll see if there will be anything new. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, because I do have a few more slots left. Uh, animated slots. Um, it's just, it's just, I've only drawn two animated emotes myself uh, so far, and it's, it's, uh, it can be a little bit overwhelming. I, I won't lie. It's, it's more work than just drawing a static one. Uh, so, <laughs> it's, uh, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully soon there will be a new one. You love these emotes, it's so impressive. Thank you so much, Tater. Thank you so much, I appreciate that, thank you. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that, that people like them. Um, But yeah, also when I say animated emotes, like some of them have been static and I've just added animated effects to them. Um, But there are only two emotes that have been drawn as emotes or animated emotes only. Um, so, yeah, and then the ones that I haven't drawn myself, I've just used as, used as placeholders, like the, the, <laughs> the Zote emote, like the Hollow, Hollow Knight one. That's just, it's just a placeholder. Because I feel bad when people actually, you know, pay for subs and stuff, and then I, I, I can't give them all the emotes that they, they're kind of paying for, I guess. <laughs> so I feel like I need to put something in there instead of leaving it empty. Um, at least until I get the time to, to make it a new one. So. My emotes are really good. No, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm trying I'm trying to be better at just accepting compliments, but it's it's really difficult. <laughs> it's really difficult. Uh, like that one, yeah. Well, yeah, that that one is I would also say that that is a placeholder, but to be fair, some people have actually used it. So, you know, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe it's worth keeping. I don't know. Uh... Uh, I need something to drink. It's a legendary one. And it's only there because you you asked for it, Sarah. So, um... You know... The, the power you hold, Sarah. <laughs> what exactly is the relationship between Renja and Miss Met? It seems like a completely anachronistic master and servant relationship. I just can't see what's binding these two together. That said, your and I might be like that too. Uh, might seem like that too. But at the very least, the two of us are friends who are close in age. So, are these two friends? It certainly doesn't look like it. Mm, I'm tired, Sayoko. I worked so hard. Renja plops down onto my lap from beside me. As I stare at her in confusion, 
She responds with a wink and a bashful giggle. Wrench's sudden behavioral shift sends shivers down my spine. It's ghastly, dreadful, and yet endlessly charming. My eyes twitch. My head spins. I think something like this has happened before. Not that I have any intention of trying to remember right now. I'm quite used to being called unreasonable, but I had to yell today. Renja must be scared when she yells. I hope I never have to see her yell. At work? Yeah. We were on our way back from work today. I figured you'd blow all my frustration away once I saw you, Sayoko. I'm not that good. <laughs> you contribute? Yes, you do. Yes, you do, Sarah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I'm not that good. We don't know our own worth, Sayoko. We can only deal with the worth given to us by others. You know, that is actually very true. You hear that, Sarah? Y you hear that? I can feel Renja's fingers unbuttoning my coat. She slides her chilly hand underneath my inner sweater and slides her finger on top of my underwear. Wait, what? Excuse me? What is she doing? Renja? I want to become bigger and stronger. I've been holding myself back for so long. I've been trying to get myself free. I've been trying so hard, you know? Th that tickles. <laughs> you want me to stop? No. I don't want to do as I'm told. Wait, what? Excuse me? Renja even removes my underwear and traces her finger. No, what are you doing? <laughs> her cold skin makes me shiver. What is she doing? Why would I want to listen to people who don't listen to me? Renja pinches my side hard. Ow, stop that. No. Not until you do as I say. Yeah, see, there was something creepy about this one from the beginning. I don't- I- it, it, she didn't seem- There was something very sus about her. This took a turn? Yeah, it did. <laughs> hey, soon, Raccoon. What a, what a what an interesting name. <laughs> a kind of cute name. What kind of game is this? Well, you know, it was it, it's it's difficult to say. Uh it is a visual novel. Um it's been fairly innocent. It doesn't have any any it wasn't until now that it was like wait, something actually slightly s sexual, but that that has not been the case at all. It's been violent at times because, well, they're all ghosts, so they can't really die. So they have a very um, laid-back relationship to death and dying and stuff. Um, so that hasn't really been an issue, but this is this is this is the first time that has been a thing. <laughs> um, this is the first. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, exactly. It, it, I feel like it has been pretty innocent overall. Very s kind of wholesome too at moment uh, at times. Is this like Doki Doki literature? I actually have not played Doki Doki uh, before, but you're not the first person to ask me that. <laughs> but I can't say. The only thing is that I've heard that Doki Doki can be very disturbing. But no, this is it's not a horror game. It's not a horror game. It's overall very chill. It just has some violent moments at times, but it's not it's not creepy or scary. Um But this this was this was this was different. This was new. <laughs> um Yeah, no, not until you do as I say. 
Um, Renja peers into my eyes. There's a discerning glint in her eyes that seem to, seems to peer into the depths of my thoughts. And beyond the glint burns the flames of hatred. At least, that's the impression I get. What do you want me to do? I want you to accept what I'm about to tell you. Oh no, what is she about to tell us? You're enjoying a nice chill time in hell with commentator, then you hear this. <laughs> Wait, this is worse than hell? Oh damn, no. <laughs> but yeah, it's so nice to see you though. I mean, welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Uh, it, it This is usually a very chill game. This this caught me a little bit off guard, I have to say. <laughs> hmm. But yeah, I don't know if I can until I hear it. I want to give you a place where you belong. And that place is by my side. I do have a place where I belong, you know. Well, I normally wouldn't say that. That's at least what I think. I don't know why I can't say it. It seems like such an important thing. This girl's dangerous. But I knew that from the very begin be be beginning, didn't I? <laughs> the whirring wind outside the windows sounds so much louder. Neither of us say a word. But for completely different reasons. Wrench is silent because she's confident she's got the upper hand. And I'm the exact opposite. Do you know how long I've been holding myself back? Don't you feel like it's time for something to change? I should probably decline. Yes, you should. My sense of reasoning barely manages to hold out. But I have to ask you, Oryu. I don't think that she's so important. Makes you wonder why the priest is so worked up about her. I don't get what you're saying. I know you do. Ow! She tightens her grip on my side. All I can do is wince and try to endure it. Must everyone belittle me? Even you? Well, it would be helpful if you were just, you know, trying to be nice. I think it would have served you better if you were nice if you're trying to convince me to join you in whatever you're trying to do. Not everyone gets off on being <laughs> on on being treated that way, you know. No, that's not it. I snap back to reality. Oh no! Every time this is the this has happened before in this game, and then I start thinking about Eminem. <laughs> snap back to reality <laughs> when I hear Miss Met clear her throat. Someone's banging on the window. It would seem they have business with us. Just do the usual. You love doing things by the book, don't you? What's wrong? What makes you think there's some sort of exception this time? If you want to interrupt me, just say so. Wow, what an attitude on this one. But it's someone from the church. The church? Renja gasps and looks up. Sure enough, it would seem someone from the church is indeed on the other side of the rear seat window behind me. I've got a bad feeling about this. I twist my neck a little past its comfort zone. Ugh. Meet Clara again under unlikely circumstances. <laughs> the, the silly music showing up. Um, do you know her, Sayoko? If so, I have doubts about who you choose to associate with. No, I swear to God. Oh, no. <gasps> Very well. Keep driving. 
I've had enough of this discussion. The car resumes driving without a sound. I wonder where we're going. The entire world is empty, save for the sound of the tires pushing, pushing through the snow. As I shrink back in my seat, I feel like I have no right to autonomy whatsoever. Well, that's disturbing. You can take your time to think. We got all the time in the world, don't we, Sayoko? Wrench is right. We do have all the time in the world. Are you asking if I'd like to work at your sweat uh, sweet uh, sweats shop, by the way? <laughs> I hope it's not a sweat shop, but I, I, you know, judging by her character, I, I wouldn't put it past her. Um, are you asking if I'd like to work at your sweets shop? Sweets shop. Um, Renja has an advantage here. She's confident that I'll cave in eventually. I sure am, Sayoko. Why don't we work together? I look long and hard at Renja's perfect smile. The car stops. Outside the window is a familiar sight. Apparently we were driving back to the, the apartment. Renja motions me to go ahead and get out of the car. Is it okay if I give it some thought? Of course. If you ever feel up to it, just tell me, okay? I'll ask you again myself, though, obviously. Okay. See you later, then. As soon as I take my first step outside, I hear her voice again. Wait. I know the answers to everything. Or rather, maybe 80% of what you want to know. Perhaps you'll learn everything I know if you become mine. Oh no. She she said she she said what she needed to say. Oof. Exactly, oof. <laughs> the sudden sound of the car taking off makes me stagger and do an odd little tap dance. The ground might be a little muddy. But it's nowhere near as uh, that unstable. It might just be my own dizzy senses. I felt this sensation before. Why am I doomed to remember the discomfort and anxiety that I felt when the weird old man said those weird old things? Well, to be fair, this that was also kind of disturbing. Uh, talking to the old man, who also claimed to have answers. But he just seemed like he was deranged. Become mine. <laughs> uh, this sensation is telling. It's telling me that the secret syringes referring to are the same ones that the old man did. I feel hesitant. It's so frustrating to be tempted with bait like this. But I don't think I can help it. After all, this whole time... I was able to convince myself that the old man was just spouting crazy nonsense. But is one of the wisest, most rational people I know. If it's coming from her, I don't think I can write it off as simple delusion. Another thing of concern is that the majority of ghosts aren't interested in these secrets. But why not? It's hard to understand why you wouldn't be interested in knowing why you're there, or here. Unless, that is, they all already know. Does everyone know these things? Am I the only one left in the dark? I go back to my room, hesitating if I should talk to Yoru about all of this. It turns out there's no need for me to hesitate. I can't talk to her even if I wanted to. The room's a mess, and yours is gone. Where did she go? What was that? My eyes start spinning.
Oh shit, we have an, an ad break. I forgot to have the the ad uh, manager thing open. Which I should probably move over to this monitor. <laughs> uh, interesting. Interesting. I'm so intrigued to find out what is going on in this town. I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> How are you liking it so far? I mean, we're getting closer and closer to the end, so I, I am really enjoying it. I'm actually really enjoying it. It's It's so... I don't know. It's like... I would say that it's it's almost like a slice of life, but in a visual novel form, because it's like... It's very, you know, slow and seemingly everyday type of events, but then it's like an underlying theme that kind of creeps up. But now that we're getting closer to the end, it's like... It's time that they start digging deeper into what the whole deal is about the town and why they're all ghosts who can't die and why they can't leave and everything like that. That's why they, 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 they don't count time anymore. They just keep saying that um, things happened like 9,999 years ago um, because they can't keep track of time. <laughs> So we don't even know how old uh, any of them are, or how long they've been here in this state. Uh, or how they died, because you can see that she has memories from when she was... I, I assume it was from when she was alive. Um, because she was... Um, like, she... You see some flashbacks... But it's not to this town, and it's not snow and wintry, and it's not the same people. So I'm, I'm really intrigued to find out why everything is the way... Why everything... All the things are the way they are, <laughs> basically. But yeah, so we're, we're on chapter 4 right now, and supposedly there are 5 chapters in total. So after this one, it's going to be the last chapter. And this is only the third... Is it the third stream? No, fourth stream. Does it say fourth or third in, in my stream title? I actually don't know. <laughs> it should be the fourth. So it's been about um, one chapter each stream. So it's not a very long game, but it is... Uh, it's also not like super short. Yeah, we're getting we're getting close to the end. And in case anyone has, you know, has missed out on stuff, I do have all the bots on the YouTube. Uh because you know, it's for a story like this, I know it can be difficult to keep keep up with it. If you miss one stream, it's like, well, now I don't know anything, so why bother paying attention, you know? Which is totally understandable, because it's hard to keep track of things when it's very um, heavily story-based. Um, and it is a visual novel, so it's not like... There's not really gameplay, it's just story. So... I, I understand why. Like, these types of games can be a bit challenging to stream because of that. Because it's hard to... Get people engaged in it, you know? Mm, which is why also I'm glad that I decided to post the VODs for the uh, for the game as well. Mm. Yeah, we're back from the ads, by the way. My rough breathing, uh, my rough breathing grows so hot and out of control. I strip off my sweater. I pull out hairs. Nothing I can do to cool, uh, but nothing I can do, nothing I do can cool me down. Damn, I can't read. <laughs> Nothing I do can cool me down. Excuse me? What is that? What does that mean? 
I let out something between a grunt and a scream, praying that this is all just a bad dream as I turn the room inside out in the faint hope that you're yours hiding somewhere. Now that I think about it, we never got that door replaced. So there's just a hole in the door? Sure. I'm at least partially at fault for leaving this room by myself for so long despite the situation. But we haven't even done anything recently. I've lost both both Pacifica and Anya, so I thought the situation was at a stalemate. I thought there was nothing more that they could take from me. Pacifica and Anya haven't come back. Will Yor not come back either? Then, what will happen to me? There's a cabinet toppled on the floor. Yes, the one Yoru was given. Damn it. One of the drawers has been yanked out. Its contents scattered on the ground. Isn't it called a floor when it's indoor and ground when it's outside? Sorry, I'm just being nitpicky. <laughs> There's a bag of sweets I got from Renja. Unlike the simple sweets Mr. Patel sells at his cafe, these uh, these sweets are a very cute assortment that girls uh, girls adore. I tear open the packaging and toss one of the sweets into my mouth at random. I guess it's a macaron. Macaroon. Macaron? I don't know how to pronounce it in English. I only know it in English. <laughs> I remember what Renja once said. Eat sweets when you're tired. Renja's sweets are a little special. When you eat them, they really make you happy. Your body feels warm and relaxed. Mm, yeah, so those types of sweets, I see, I see. Maybe there's a little bit of alcohol in them. Hmm. And they're exactly what I need right now. Next up is some sort of rolled cream cake. The one after that is undoubtedly chocolate. I just devour the sweets one after another. As if to drown out the sadness and despair. Oh no. She's turning to food because she's sad. That's all too real. <laughs> ah. A piece of caramelized almond gets caught in my throat. I try to get a drink of water, but I can't. Oh no, is she choking? collapse limply onto the floor. My body's so powerless, I can't even react to the coldness of the floor touching my face. I just aimlessly roll around. It's like my brain has turned into clay. Everything buried deep within my chest just disappears. Even my heart. In any case, I'm just blankly staring at my empty self. And it feels so comforting. How nice. It's good to relax. Very good. Don't think of it as not being able to think. Think of it as not needing to think. Wow. It's so much more pleasant to think about not thinking like that. I cackle. I can't open my mouth, but I cackle. I'm enjoying myself so much. I'm going to cry from pleasant sadness. It's kind of strange, but it's sadly pleasant. Sweets are amazing, huh? They don't make you feel so happy. They, they, they make you feel so happy. If only everyone could be happy. Happy forever. If only we could just all give up on everything. Is there any point in ghosts fuzzing over anything? Uh -huh. Well, that is a... Good point, I guess. Welcome back from the Lurk Veld. Strange. Everything fades into darkness. <laughs> Miss Ninja? Miss Ninja? Yoru? Huh? I jump up as if a switch had just been flipped. And right before me is Clara. Oh, it's just you. I feel like I was dealt the worst card out of a deck made of only bad cards. 
I even consider just going back to sleep. Leave. The sweets had cast a temporary shadow over all my problems. But now it feels like their magic had faded away. My consciousness is clear. The mad frustration that took over me is coming back. My palms are suddenly sweaty. They really do like to reference them. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> you know, we're just snapping back to reality with palms sweaty, you know? Maybe next next thing is uh, mom spaghetti, you know? Just just waiting for it. Except we don't have a mom in this game, so who, who knows? Who would be the mom? I don't know. You're so ready for spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, my palms are suddenly sweaty. Time for mom spaghetti. In the span of one second, I curse myself 9,999 times. Ask myself what I think I'm doing. I answer myself, how should I know, dumbass? And I cry to myself 9,999 times. As she watches me, a confused yet confident Clara points her index finger at me. The nerve of her. Eep. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Did she just break her finger? Damn. That's brutal. So I break that finger. Can you blame me? I said leave. Don't you get it? Clara flinches at my threatening shout. She even takes a step backwards. But then she stops. Frustratingly, her eyes are shining with a sense of duty. It doesn't hurt as bad as getting shot, so I'm fine. My finger will heal. Just tell me why you're hanging out with this sweet seller. I'm just friends with her now, that's all. Hanging out with the sweet seller is like admitting that you're a bad person, you know? What's so bad about her? Well, for once, did you not see what happened earlier? Because pff, that that was that was some very out of pocket stuff. I mean, she's a sweets seller, you know? There can't be anything good about her. So when she says sweet seller, she is she a drug dealer? Is that what you're trying to say? I mean, the candy we just ate was kind of, you know, I I I don't think that there was alcohol in it. I think it was something else. <laughs> What's wrong with making sweets? What does the god of your church prohibit cookies or something? Cookies and bad drugs are two completely different things. Wait, I feel like you just said something weird. You're the weird one. Ow, that really hurts. That, that, that looks like it hurts. By sweet seller, do you mean Renja? You do mean Renja, right? Yes, her. She's well known. She's kind of a bigwig with lots of subordinates. A sweet seller is someone who makes sweets and sells them for a profit, right? Yeah, but people who sell bad drugs are also called sweet sellers, aren't they? Wait, I didn't know that. People use sweets to refer to bad drugs, don't they? Using kid-friendly words as a stand-in for something else. Um, what's that called again? I didn't know that. Did you take her at face value when she said she was a sweet seller? Yeah. <laughs> Don't laugh. You want me to break another finger? <laughs> I just... I just didn't know you had such a cute childish side to you, Miss Ninja. Wait, when even Clara... Isn't that naive? And she laughs at you for being naive. Then you know you're naive. <laughs> How 
how can you expect a foreigner to know such local euphemisms? <laughs> I can kind of relate. Yeah, you can, because you're also a, basically a child. Might be vomit on her sweater after that finger breaking. <laughs> could be, could be. Clara's finger is starting to swell and turn an odd color, but she keeps laughing anyway. Thanks to that, I'm able to process some of my thoughts. So, is Renja like the sweet cellar boss of this town or something? Yes. Oh, but I don't mean she bakes the most cookies in town or anything, okay? <laughs> Yeah, that explains why she has such a big apartment. The, the, the... presidential suite in the building, I guess you could say. I recall the time I raided the church. I was able to bribe the guard with candy. He was looking forward to enjoying them. The reason it worked was because I somehow instinctively knew that sweets have spread throughout the town, even among people who guard the church. I probably knew about it before I lost my memory. The sweet cellar and the church share some common ground. They've kept even a devout believer like Clara in the dark about it. I suddenly smell something suspicious here. Looks like I'll have to pay Renja a visit. <coughs> I'm going to take a nap. I think you should clean up the room first. Clean it up for me. Just don't touch anything under the bed. You can have some of my saved up sweets when you're done. <laughs> you mean the sweets? Sure. I toss myself into bed without waiting for Clara to respond. I quickly slip into genuine, full-blown sleep. That's terrible. Even your? Renja looks deeply concerned. Looks. Taking a nap was the right choice. I'm calm enough to hide my impatience and irritation. I heard everything. Everything about what, exactly? Everything about your work. You have really interesting you have a real interesting job, Renja. <laughs> I guess the cat's out of the bag. Yes, I'm more of a bad girl than my appearances suggest. You don't say. <laughs> Renja speaks with a smile as if nothing has changed. It's almost chillingly eerie how normal she's acting. But it's not enough to break me. I'm no saint. I'm in no position to lecture anyone on their life choices. But I cannot support yours, so... You're saying you can't work with me? Is that correct? Sorry. I made sure not to let you see them. But I have so- I have as many subordinates. I'm sure they can help you find your roommates. So won't you let us help you? No thanks. I'll search for Yoru myself. Is it because I'm a bad girl? Well. Well. Also, it's weird calling yourself that. I don't know. <laughs> I can't say that has nothing to do with it. There are two types of ghosts in this town. The first are, honestly, trash. They can't question any abnormally abnormal. Uh, abnormal uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> they can't question any abnormalities in this uh, this town has, and obviously, I don't mean it's against their philosophy, uh, philosophy or religion. I mean they're genuinely unable to notice that anything's abnormal. You could explain it to them, but they wouldn't really understand. To them, they would just be empty words. The other type are ghosts who recognize the chaotic state this town is in. 
Those who know exactly what this town is. For ages, every ghost has been either one or the other. But you're special, Sayoko. You notice the town's abnormalities, yet you know nothing. Instead, you compensate your lack of knowledge with an excess of power. You're incomplete. But that's what fascinating uh, that's what's fascinating about you. Gee, thanks. I want to make you complete. And together, we need to dethrone the authority of the priest and his church. And to do it properly, we need to turn this humiliating situation on its head. We shouldn't have all that power. The two of us should. And to achieve this goal, I need peace of mind. That you won't ever betray me. You're not going to try and persuade me now, are you? If you're not with me, then you might as well just say you don't want to know the truth for all eternity. In either case, just promise me you won't get in the way of my work. So, what will it be? Astonishingly, I hesitate. I should be refusing her offer without a second thought. But I just can't bring myself to say, I don't need to know. I've always been an outsider. I've been left in the dark as to why the priest detained Yoru in the church, or why Pacific and Anya are gone. And it's because of my complete ignorance. The biggest example of that ignorance is this whole sweet seller business. If I only had the proper knowledge, I could recognize so many more things by myself. My greed for knowledge has dulled my judgment. I realize I've broken into a cold sweat. My eyes are wandering around pathetically. It's like I'm searching for something to help me out, out of this mess. My eyes stop on something. And that something is, in some sense, the answer I've been looking for. Liar. And I only catch sight of what's uh, of that something by complete coincidence. There's a dresser in the corner of Renge's room. And on the dresser is a familiar tube of lip lipstick. Ah, that's what she was looking at. I I saw that that was highlighted, but I didn't I didn't put two and two together. So, in case any of you guys remember last stream, I think it was last stream or the one before, uh, it was uh, Pacifica, she had a lipstick, well, it wasn't exactly lipstick, it was a gun concealed as a lipstick, which means, and it was made by Anya, which means that Anya has, she has either Maybe she has kidnapped Pacifica and Anya, and she also has that gun, or they're all on the same side. Her, Pacifica, and Anya, but they've just been hiding everything from, from me, their friend, so I'm really curious about which one it could be. you back had to deal with something major, uh, major uh, majorly stupid wait what happened but hey dave how you doing thank you for the lurk i appreciate it thank you so much sometimes you want to join the i can't with people boat mm. what what happened what happened yeah on the dresser is a familiar tube of lipstick or rather, a lipstick-shaped ultra-small gun straight out of a spy movie that Pacifica ordered from Anya. 
Exactly. A super cool weapon for the super cool Pacifica. Even Yoru was ecstatic when she saw it in action. If I'm not mistaken, Anya was in the process of mass producing them. If Renja has one, then who exactly is she? Come to think of it, one of the assassins who broke into my room also had a gun that was identical to one in Pacifica's possession. I don't want to think any further than that, but my brain calmly connects the dots on its own, forming a disturbing outline. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? That... that lipstick over there. You're interested in makeup? We have more pressing things to talk about than makeup, don't we, Sayuko? Renja looks at me incredu incredulously, as if she has no idea why I would bring up the lipstick right now. She's plain dumb. If I had come here without getting a wink of sleep first, I probably wouldn't have had the confidence to do anything about it or even notice it. Her acting looks quite natural. Hey, Rune! How you doing, Rune? It's nice to see you. Hmm. That's right. Her acting looks quite natural indeed. Mind if I take a closer look at it? Be my guest. I don't like how they have four fingers. Why do they have four fingers? They're not Disney characters. <laughs> I, I pick up the lipstick with slow, wide movements. It's unused. The seal is still intact. I see. So the one Pacifica used back then was a prototype, huh? Perhaps this is a production unit from the first manufactured lot. Mind if I try using this lipstick? You sure can be stubborn sometimes. Fine. Keep wasting time then. I'm moderately surprised. It seems Renja doesn't know what this thing actually is. If she did, she wouldn't be keeping up this farce. Even if she were playing dumb, she gains nothing by allowing me to pick to pick this thing up. Is she confident that I, if I suddenly shot her with this thing, I'd miss? Is she confident that even if I did hit her, she'd be fine? No, wait. What if I'm just a big idiot and this isn't a lipstick-shaped gun, but just a plain old lipstick? Suddenly, a short and sweet thought. Sweeter than any sweet sold by a sweet seller. Flashes in the back of my head. It's so short and sweet. And stupid. It makes me smile to myself. Rencha lets out a displeased hmm. I decide to take a gamble on that thought. I think I'm starting to get it. There was a fundamental flaw in my deduction. Oh? Oh? Really? Now I'm really, really, really intrigued. Because now I feel like I've missed something. <laughs> um, family member happened. How do you contact the phone company and kept telling her before that they can't help her out with her cracked phone because warranty doesn't cover it and they told her the same thing. They send you to insurance who sent you to a customer service who was going to send you to a warranty again. It's so dumb. Hmm. Yeah, dealing with customer service can be a pain in the ass, for sure. Your head is kind of hurting, but you're drinking coffee and having some cakes. So you hope treats make you feel more con content. I'm sorry you're feeling, feeling not the best, Rune. I hope you get to relax and take it easy today. But yeah, now I'm really, really, really curious about this. There was a fundamental flaw in my deduction. This isn't proof that Pacifica's colluding with her. In fact, I dare say it's proof that there's no collusion at all. 
This lipstick was taken from Pacifica. Maybe even stolen. Okay, so that was actually what I mentioned earlier. If someone's holding her captive... Exactly what I said earlier. It wouldn't be a surprise if they also stole a cosmetic bag from her, too. Are you that interested in the lipstick? I received it from one of my subordinates. It's a small present, I suppose. I'm a good boss, aren't I? I look into Renge's eyes. She seems to be confused. I can tell she's losing a little confidence in her discernment. Like, why is this girl so obsessed with that lipstick? Did I miss something? Are you that interested in some run-of-the-mill lipstick? Sitting before me is no longer the mysterious, delicate, beautiful girl I once knew. Just one measly ghost who can't even stand up. I open the seal on the lipstick. I see. So you move the bottom part like this and... Renja, the way you try to make friends is incredibly flawed. The recoil is heavier than I expected. I was aiming for her right arm, but I hit her left leg. So much for accuracy. Though, I guess you shouldn't expect much from a gun that's designed for form over function. If you want me to be your friend, just say so. You didn't have to erase all of my existing friends. But in any case, it's exactly what I need right now. Give me back my friends. No. Suddenly, my vision shakes. Or was it Miss Miss Met who, who bonked us on the head? Something hit me in the back of the head. The concussion lasts only for a few seconds, but it looks like that uh but it looks that that's all they needed. I feel an intense discomfort at the nape of my neck. The pain only comes a second later. You have to prep for a meeting most of the evening, but you're just going to do your best and try not to stress. That sounds good. Yeah, take it easy. Take it easy. And take it slow, if you can. I reflexively reach back. Something's stabbing me. Something with a characteristic shape identifiable by touch alone. A syringe. Ugh. A syringe? Damn it. I walked right into that one. I curse my lack of precaution as I instinctively pull out the syringe. When it tumbles to the floor, I notice it's several times bigger than the ones they use for vaccines or for drawing blood. It sends shivers down my spine. As far as I can tell, the cylinder is still about a third full. So it's not like all of it's been injected inside me. Not that that's any consolation, mind you. That's our flagship product. Its sweet flavor makes it popular with girls. It's also popular with boys since it can be subtly mixed into food and drink. That's kind of gross. A shock runs through the back of my eyeballs, down to my hip bone. Or rather, than an impact, it's more of a sudden loss of strength. They say the closing years of the Great War were a tragic time, you see. No matter how hard I try to brace my legs, my vision sways and sinks. As a result, that painkiller saw heavy usage during that period. It was already an old drug at the time, and there are several conflicting theories as to why it made such a resurgence. Perhaps it was because its use and side effects were well known. Or perhaps it was due to collusion between pharmaceutical companies. Who knows what the truth is? I thought my legs were supporting my weight and body weights, but before I know it, 
I'm on my knees. In any case, it's a potent drug. At low doses, it acts as a sedative, granting soldiers relaxation and sleep. At high doses, it acts as a tranquilizer to neutralize neurotic soldiers. But before I know it, my upper body has collapsed and I'm down to my hands and knees. Well, it wasn't the full amount, but that should do it. Regardless, I'm able to maintain my vision, so I keep watching. Oh no, she's gonna mind control me with a... with a bug. Isn't that right, Met? Yes, ma'am. In her hands is a familiar silver object. Anya told me all about it. It's the soldier control device used in the closing years of the Great War. Normally, you should have been in a comatose state long ago, but you shrugged it off. You've consumed enough quantities over a long enough period of time to have grown physically dependence, grown a physical dependence, and yet you've shown absolutely no sign of addiction. Are ninjas just resistant to poison? What are you going to do to me? This. Oh no. Miss Met runs a scalpel across my wrist at the softest, uh, softest spot, a little above the base. Instead of pain, I feel fear. And by then, the blood's already flowing. Miss Met seems so skilled at this. She must have done this many times before. I tried to shake her off my arm. I shouldn't have done that. It only causes the blood to overflow even more. My body is limp from fear, despair, and helplessness. The lukewarm blood spilling down my wrist doesn't even feel like it's my own blood. Miss Met plops the silver pill bug into the in incision. The pill bug makes a whirring startup noise as it tries to crawl inside. It stings. If this is a dream, I wish I'd wake up. And yet, I can't peel my eyes away from the nightmare. It'll take some time for it to reach your spine, so let's have a nice chat while we wait. I see. So once that happens, I'm out, huh? just want to enjoy watching me suffer until then, Renja. I can feel your sadistic gaze pouring down on me. If the drugs didn't work, then maybe this thing won't work either. I'm not sure if I actually said that. I can't clearly feel my lips. It's as if the whole world is behind frosted glass. But at least I can think clearly on the side of my- uh, but at least I can think clearly on my side of the frosted glass. According to what Renja is saying, my body seems to eliminate drugs faster than normal. With a little bit of time, maybe I can regain free use of my body. But that little bit of time is the problem. The pill bug isn't moving very fast, but my arm isn't very long either. Perhaps. Sounds like an experiment worth. I don't hear what she says after that. Or rather, I hear it, but only as disjointed sounds. I'm only able to catch the nuance. The way I make friends is flawed? It's none of your business. Why make friends with someone who already has friends? It's like setting yourself up for number two at best and racing to the bottom. No thanks. I'm nobody's number two, and I don't want to be below anybody else. My ears are ringing. Like, what happens after you've heard a loud sound? I was like, is her back full of syringes? Is that it? Like a bomb went off next door. 
something squirming on the other side of the frosty glass. My consciousness sticks its face up against the glass to try and see what's going on out there. But that's just a metaphor. My consciousness doesn't have a face or eyes. All it can do is feel. I push those feelings out of my mouth in the form of words. It's true that there were rumors, uh, rumors about you, but in reality, you were into boys. Wait, what? What does that have to do with anything? Oh. You were 13. It was winter. Someone <laughs> was speaking with your dad, acting friendly, needed to get some more medicine for mom. All you could do was watch. What are you trying to get at? I'm only tracing out the silhouettes behind the frosted glass. Honestly, I don't know what any of this means. I keep talking, as if to feel things out with the tip of my finger. Your dad always was so apologetic to you. Because he thought it was his fault that your legs turned out that way. And that you didn't have a mother anymore. It was an uncomfortable way to comfort you. Everyone respected your personality. That's why you never bothered to learn about equal relationships. At least, that's what you thought, didn't you, Cow you coward? What's wrong with using the weapons you've been given? I'm not myself. I wouldn't say things like this. The first prey was the kind, chubby, older... Someone who wore thick glasses. You knew you had good looks, but you were afraid to use it to sway the opposite sex since you didn't know much about them. So you disguised yourself with a made-up character. How could I do something like this? How could I expose someone's weaknesses, criticize them for it, and make sure they can't return to the status quo? No, I'm not that weak. Yes, you are. You don't know me. I am you. We both are. I hear Renja raise her voice in anger. And yet, I think I'm smiling. Even though it's not funny at all. I want to stop already. But I can't take my eyes off the faint silhouettes. I can't stop tracing them with my mind's finger. The sights I see are so cruel. They make me shudder, which is why I can't peel my eyes away. A garage floor. A shot of glass piercing the hand. The helplessness of being un unable to stand up. Met. The encroaching red flames. Despair. Met. Shut this girl up. I snap back to my sense when I hear that voice. As well as a short, high-pitched electronic sound. Like that of a cell phone ringtone. I try to remember what I saw. But like hand sanitizer, it just gives me a tingly feeling before slipping through my fingers and evaporating into thin air. It's me. What? Renja's in chaotic disarray. The fact that I can tell that means I must have recovered a little. I chuckle to myself. I'm starting to feel my lips again. Small signs that I'm recovering. It's just funny to think that I got directly injected with tranquilizers and shrugged it off this easily. It's like I'm superhuman. Super ghost, I mean. There's a bit of trouble at the factory. I'll go there directly. Take care of things here, Met. Make no mistakes. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Promise me. Yeah. I swear my afterlife on it. If we had known things would turn out like this, 
You should have implanted the device closer to the spine. If you did, then I'd be going to work with my new friend Sayoko by now. You will tomorrow, for sure. Ren just smiles for a moment. I don't know if she's regained her composure or if she's just bluffing. Either way, I'm impressed. See? You can say something good every now and then. Once you're done here, you two come see me together. Miss Met opens the door for Renja to leave. And as Miss Met does so, she exposes her back. I need to find a way to get away from her as soon as possible and find a way to remove this bug. How much time do I have left? It can't be much. Somehow I managed to lift up my upper body. I can move better than I expected, but not as much as I need to. I pick the cosmetic bottle off of the, uh, off of the dresser and hurl it at Mrs. Met with all my might as she turns around at the sound. Miss Met doesn't flinch. She just calmly turns towards me as if it were a roll of toilet paper thrown at her. Uh, I threw at her instead of gla a glass bottle. I need to get up and get out of here. It's at that moment that I realize how numb my feet are. It's like I've been sitting on them for hours upon hours. My legs can barely even support my body. If you really care about that girl, you shouldn't keep humoring her like this. You really believe I have any alternative? Miss Met tackles me when I can't even stand. There's nothing I can do to fight back. Especially considering the overwhelming difference in physique. After all the effort I took to get back up, my body ends up back on the floor. There's nothing wrong with dedicating my body and soul to serve her. I would gladly die for her if she simply gave me the word. Most people would never experience such devoted loyalty. Miss Met straddles me, takes out a gun, and points it at me. I'm confused for a second. Speaking as someone who's been shot to death before, the flow of time certainly seems to slow down the moment you're shot. So in other words, this can't actually be taking that much time. In this eternal fleeting moment, I see Miss Met meet, uh, Miss Met's eyes from behind her long bangs. She's crying. Miss Met drops the gun, only to strangle me with her now open hands. I try to shake her hands off of my neck, but I'm unable to even grab her thick arms. I guess it's because of our weight difference. I've been trying my best to ignore it. The foreign object in my arm is literally crawling under my skin. It feels like the bug has slammed into my shoulder bone and is trying to make a slow detour. Now that I feel it, it's driving me crazy. I need to do something to distract myself. After all this thinking, I realize something. If Miss Met were seriously trying to strangle me, it wouldn't be like this. I can feel some hesitation in her hands. That said, she's still strangling me. My vision's gradually fading. If I lose consciousness now, I'm sure I'll be a new me by the time I wake up. Right. The gun. The gun Miss Met dropped. Again with the guns, yeah. <laughs> I stopped trying to grab her arm, and instead feel around for the gun which should have landed somewhere near my side. Obviously, Miss Met notices and takes one hand off my neck so she can keep the gun away from me. It's easier for me to breathe now, but that doesn't change the situation. If she tosses the gun out of my reach, it's the end of the line for me. There must be a bug implanted in Miss Met too. Not much is certain from the way she speaks. Alright, what did Anya say that one time again? Taking a deep breath while the pressure on my neck is loosened. Well, you tell someone to do something, and they must do it. Tell them don't, and they must not do it. 
you lay down the rules. I'll be quiet. I won't speak anymore. Miss Metgrip suddenly suddenly weakens. Renge's last command was shut this girl up. Mm. I see, I see. I announce my silence, thereby fulfilling that command. In other words, at this moment, she's lost her reason to manhandle me. After checking to see if I can move my pin lower body, I quickly pull out a leg and kick Miss Met in the gut as hard as I can. Great. I can move my body now. Miss Met falls backwards with a gun in her hand. And it's pointed at me. Unlike a robot or cyborg, these soldiers can think about various aspects of their missions and can thus violate parts of their orders as long as they uphold the order overall. That's what Anya said. Living brains have leeway in their decision-making ability. If you think about it logically, what Renger really wants, wants isn't for me to shut up, but to be inca incapacitated non-lethally. If I die, my body will return to the garbage dump. But what happens to the bug? I don't know. In any case, Miss Met's pointing the gun at me, which means it's of no concern to her if her attack kills me. I'm confident I moved faster than the wind. I grab the round barrel of the automatic pistol. I can clearly, I can clearly see Miss Met reflexively pull the trigger. I'm out of time. But that's perfect. I push the barrel of the gun pointed at me into my shoulder. Is that where the bug is? <laughs> Sparks fly in the back of my eyes. The back of my head. And of course, my shoulder. Perhaps my whole body has turned into sparks. The taste on the tip of my tongue has got to be the taste of a bullet impact. <laughs> Damn you. Ooh. We overpowered her. We did the thing. Hey, Chouncy. So are they brainwashed? Yeah, they have like a, a bug. Uh, like a microchip type of thing. Shaped like a bug. Inserted into their bodies. I try to hide the pain with a yell as I drive my still perfectly good left fist into Miss Met's jaw. I feel my fist and uh, I feel my fist land perfectly. No matter how tough you are, I doubt you can keep fighting properly after a di direct jolt to the brain. But this is only the beginning. I'm not done yet. I yank up the neck of my sweater and bite down and hard on it. I thrust my fingers into the fresh gunshot wound in my shoulder. The indescribable pain is so intense, it sends sparks flying in my eyes. I can't believe I have to gouge out this wound. I wouldn't want other people to hear the groans I'm making. Just a bit more. Yeah, she's digging out the bug now. My fingers touch something hard. It's not bone. It's metal. There it is. Get. There it is. There it is. I can hear the sound of muscle fibers tearing as I pry the bug's legs off of my flesh. Get. <laughs> she said get wrecked. <laughs> She said, get wrecked. <laughs> okay, that's the end of that. Get... <laughs> well, she said, get, and then she said, wrecked. <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, but how you doing? How you doing, Trouncy? I'm doing well. I hope you're doing well as well. I was Halo today. Okay, that's the end of that. I hold a silver lump on the palm of my left hand. It stops moving as if to say, 
now is not the time for work. Perhaps it's detected that it's been exposed to the air. Ha 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 I let out a laugh, and then I let out tears. But then I tell myself now isn't the time for either of those things as I refocus my attention. Miss Metz sprawl sprawled out on the floor beneath me. I pick the gun. I pick the gun up off the floor. I need to incapaci uh, in incapacitate her. I suppose I should shoot out both of her legs. No, wait. I need to free her from the bug. If I pump her head full of lead, she'll wake up in the garbage dump as her true self, won't she? I point the gun at Miss Met's head. It pains my conscience to do it, so I hesitate a little. Stop. you're awake. Even if you shoot me, I'll still return to her from the garbage dump on my own two feet. So there's no point. Miss Met speaks nonchalantly. There's no aggression whatsoever in her voice. In fact, she even sounds somehow relieved. It doesn't look like Renja actually cares about you to me. What matters is who you care about, not who cares about you. That's what matters to me, at least. Even if she continues to look down on you? I find it acceptable. She must be saying that because she's been brainwashed. That has to be the case. Please be the case. But if you had the choice, wouldn't you want to stop doing this? Unfortunately, reality seems to betray my expectations most of the time. I would, but my desire to be by her side is more important. Serving her is what makes me happy. And this time is no exception. What makes you think that way? I don't understand why you believe in her so much. I had an epiphany one day. I realized that this is what I wanted. If I had to put it into words, I thought... She's beautiful. No object in, objection to that point, correct? Well, you're right about that. Good. We have a near infinite amount of time on our hands. I want to spend that time watching over beauty. And I've found a way to guarantee it. A way to be needed. Wow, really? Were you that superficial? <laughs> And it will last for all eternity. I'm an atheist, personally. There's more than one way to get eternal bliss. If you'd rather stop doing this, can you really say it makes you happy? It's a luxury to live in a situation that's ideal in all, all aspects. So it's complicated. Complicated? I'm not good with complicated topics. They tire me. I don't understand what you're saying. I want a simple life. I can't suffer for an eternity like you. So I have no regrets making some sacrifices. Even if it means making others unhappy? Are you unaware of how, how comfortable it is to live a simple, earnest life? Bring out love to someone without hesitation. If all you want to do is pour out love for someone, then you'll tire yourself out one day for sure. Especially when that someone abuses you. But I've lived like this for all eternity. Pouring out love is my happiness. It's so fulfilling. I find it way more valuable to love than to be loved. She doesn't know what it means to love someone. She's only ever been loved. Even though she's so beautiful, so perfect. Her greed gives her the desire to be loved, using any means necessary. That's all she lives for. It's so tragic. It's lovely. I find myself unpleasant. I know my mind is warped and repulsive, but I want to keep doing what I'm doing as long as I can. I don't understand you. 
but I might be jealous. To have someone precious enough for you, uh, to you that you'd sacrifice your own existence. It must feel like arriving at a terminal station. The end of a long journey. A happy ending. When I think about it like that, I guess I can kind of understand. I'm glad it turned out like this. Miss Met lets out a sigh. I felt threatened. No, scared of you. She wanted you to replace me as her right-hand woman. If she were successful, I would lose my place by her side. I can't spend my eternity as a factory guard like the others. That's the opposite of what I want. A factory? Oh, right. A factory. Tell me where it is. I need to hurry. You plan on going with your body in a shape like that? That said, I can't tell you. I've been ordered not to. More importantly. More importantly, what? I know I've said this already, but please don't kill me. I don't want to lose what she's given me. At the very least, I know that this is what I truly desire. Ms. Met says that with a smile. A smile that's so dazzling for me since it's brimming, brimming with confidence in her conviction. In, in with confidence in her conviction. <laughs> It's such a beautiful smile. For just a moment, she's just as beautiful as Renja. Has Renja ever seen the smile? I'm going. I shoot Ms. Met in the right leg. This way, at the very least. She probably won't be chasing after me anymore. Since I shot with my left hand, the recoil feels stronger than I expected, causing me to, uh, causing me to stumble a few steps. I try to think of a, of what exactly I can do with only one arm as I rush out of Renja's luxurious room to chase after her. We talk about a neighborhood dispute. True, true. <laughs> um, we doing well as well. I'm sorry, I I was I was kind of immersed in in things going on there. <laughs> Halo Two on Legendary is a brutal endeavor, but it's a lot of fun. On that difficulty, it's kind of Souls-like, except it's not bosses, just specific fights throughout each map. Hmm. Well, you know, as long as it's fun, that's the important part. Glad you're enjoying it. As I go down the stairs, I touch the bug in my pocket. This thing was a curse for me, but a blessing for Miss Metz. It's her bond with Renja. Maybe I could approach Renja, pretending to be brainwashed. But then again, since there's a main control unit somewhere, it wouldn't surprise me if there were some sort of indicator showing which receivers are working. Which means I'd be found out instantly. I'd feel so stupid. Clara's still in my room. When she sees my bloody left hand, she lets out a sickening cute shriek. Eep. <laughs> Eep. <laughs> like that. When she asks what happened, I consider smacking her, but I manage to hold back the impulse. Instead, I grab her by the shoulder and tell her this. It's a good thing we're friends, huh? It sure is. We're precious friends. In my country, there's a cultural tidbit we call a yakuza, kachikomi. Wow, that sounds so lovely. <laughs> yes, it is lovely. So what do you say the two of us do a little Yakuza comic ko uh, Kachikomi right now? By the way, have you ever shot a pistol? I know you've been shot by one. Suddenly I've got a bad feeling about this. I know, but I want your help. Please. I I I'll help, as long as I don't have to hurt anyone. Well... Okay then. I suddenly get curious about what time it is, so I rip the duct tape curtain off of the wall. There's a thin line of white starting to form on the sky already. 
You probably have about an hour left of live, uh, live time. Live time? Live time. I set my sights on our goal. I can't help but laugh when I see something unusual in the usual view outside my window. Or to be more accurate, there's something unfamiliar inside of something familiar. What's so funny? I tell the confused Clara it's nothing as I pick up the rope that Yoru uh, bought but never used. Huh? What? I tie up Clara's slender body, as you might expect. Clara's got a few questions. Please explain. What exactly are you planning to do? Just trust me. I look out the window again. There's that electric bulletin board that was set there way back when the three of us got together again. But there's a new message, message scrawl across it. It was Renja, the sweet seller. Pacifica and I are trapped in the factory basement. Please help. I see, I see. So it's... Uh... How can you expect me not to laugh at that? <laughs> it's Anya. I promise that I'll exceed your expectations. Throughout this whole ordeal, I've been unsure if I could truly trust the people I thought to be my friends. I thought uh, I thought trusting people meant having a peace of mind. I thought choosing to distrust people meant uh, closing my heart to them. But that's too naive. That's such a self-centered way of thinking. My friends are wonderful, lovable, and also dangerous. If they knew I were applying such a naive thought process on them, I'm sure they'd make fun of me. First, there's Pacifica, who earned herself fame and power in this town all by herself. And then there's Anya, who's got the courage the skill, and the skills to send a unique SOS signal, even when captured by the enemy. They're both such excellent, reassuring people. It'll be rude for someone like me to even have to consider whether or not to trust them. Those two constantly exceed my expectations using everything they've got. They always have. Now that I think about it, I may have exceeded their, their expectations as well. That's the definitive thing that ties us together. The fact that we give each other everything we've got. The bickering, the, the conflicts of interest, the deductions that made my trust in them falter. All a bunch of poop. <laughs> I casually sling an assault rifle on my shoulder and suddenly notice something. That nasty wound has already healed considerably. Uh, considerably. It's almost as if they, it, were, it were never there. Ghosts can't keep many things. And I've got a particularly strict limit in that regard. I know that from experience. Perhaps fatal wounds count towards the limits, and all the guns I keep under the bed have bumped it up past the threshold. It'll be really convenient if that were the case. But is it true? Well, I could just think about it later. Are any of them actually brainwashed, or do some of them just things others are. I, I don't know. I don't know. We just figured it out um, not too long ago that that they have this bug inserted in them. So we don't actually know who has them and who doesn't. So it's all kind of a guessing game. <laughs> Clara, do you know where the factor is? Just the general direction, at least. Oops. I forgot I gagged her. <laughs> I remove the gag and apologize to Clara for getting carried away as I chuckle merrily to myself. Clara knows that the factory is a big place, but it seems she doesn't know any specifics like which street, uh, street it's on, or if the walls are green or yellow or whatever. Well, we're just gonna find it with the uh, with our guts, guts, and lots of running. We'll probably be a guard on watch. Which will actually help us, because it will give away their position. That's where Clara comes in. Renja has a cooperative relationship with the priest, and therefore the church in general. 
devout follower of the church like Clara should be useful as bargaining material. Even if it's just a bluff. An underling stuck on guard duty is unlikely to hold much influence. I should be able to at least buy some time with some smooth talking. It's a crude plan. The voice of reason says I should really plan out more of the details. I ignore that voice and cross through the apartment courtyard. And suddenly, when suddenly, I quickly close my eyes, but it's too late. The intense light scorches my eyes and leaves me unable to move for a moment. Well, I guess someone's got an even cruder plan than mine. I let out a dry chuckle. Is that the way to the factory? Um, yes, that's right. Was that? You see that? Everyone really does exceed my expectations. And I mean that in the best way possible. My vision gradually clears up, thanks to all the dust particles gathered around the center of town. It looks like the entire town's in the middle of a sandstorm. By the time I realize that the dust cloud must, uh, must mark the epicenter of the explosion, out from the ashes comes the silhouette of an approaching car. It's twice the size of a standard passenger vehicle. Its simple exterior resembles that of a business class station wagon. As it approaches, its details become more distinct. The most important detail being who's in it. The moment I recognize who's in the driver's seat, I feel a joy so intense, I don't even have the words to properly describe it. Anya. I wave my hands as hard as I can. It seems like Anya's looking at me. She won't wave back. Is she mad that I didn't come save her? The station wagon stops in front of me. Sayoko. Pacifica. <laughs> I embrace Pacifica as she stumbles out of the car. Her warmth makes me so happy. I cry a little. I'm sorry, Sayoko. No, don't be sorry. You did nothing wrong. It's all my fault. I knew Renja was bad news from the start. She's on the top of my wiretap list, so I even overhear her every time uh, she orders pizza. <laughs> you never cease, cease to amaze me. I did half of the work, though. Just saying. You were friends with her, weren't you? That's why I was a little hesitant to intervene until it was a little too late. It's okay. That doesn't matter anymore. Anyway, where's your order? Uh, oh, uh, your? Well... She's the one who came up with the brilliant idea to blow up the generator. But how did she know that all security measures are shut off in, in case of an emergency? Yeah, she can be a real big mystery sometimes. Well, uh, she's, she's not so big now. She's probably small enough to fit in a shoebox. Wait, what do you mean? What does that mean? Oh. Well. Okay. <laughs> she didn't make it out in time, huh? I guess that's one way to put it. She sacrificed herself so we could escape. Like at the end of an action movie? Well, we were certainly moved by her actions. <laughs> I guess we have to go pick her up later on then. I cackle. It's hard to breathe with all the dust in the air, but I feel like I've finally found the place I belong. Was we getting an ad? I'm just gonna keep playing through the ad because I feel like this is like the end of the game. No, maybe I should maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. Um, about that. This isn't over yet. We only just gotten to the main event. How observant of you. Oh no, she's back. She's back. 
Uh, a, sh a shoebox? Yeah. Well, the thing is, you know, we don't take death too seriously in this game because they're all ghosts, so they will all come back again. It's like, dying is it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> it's just it's just an inconvenience, you know? You want to see the ending? But it, no, it's, it's not the ending of the game. It's just the end of the chapter. But it was like, ugh, I'm just... Uh, but yeah, I stopped. It's just I, I'm, I'm impatient. I'm impatient. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna see the end of the chapter. <laughs> but yeah, I usually, I usually never, uh, I usually always stop the game when there's an ad, if unless I forget about it. But <sighs> I'm, I'm so invested. I'm so invested in the story and the game, you know? <laughs> it's a lot of fun. You know, you know? But I wonder where she came from. Like she, she, she uses a wheelchair and it's snowy. Who is pushing her around in the in the chair? That's what I'm wondering. Yeah, after this chapter, it's only one one more, and then that's the end of the game. So I think next week will be well. I'm 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 getting a little bit ahead of myself now, but I I'm just guessing that next week will probably be the last. Of the game, then. Because I don't think I would... Unless the chapter is, like, super, super long. I wanna... I wanna do it all in one go. You know? You know? I'm not really sure how, how long I expected the game to be, but I... It is actually a little bit longer than I thought it would be. You you know? <laughs> it's 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 so it's so awkward just sitting here waiting <laughs> because like I just I just want to I just want to I just want to see what happens. Did anyone ever joke when I played Lysa P called it Lysa P? I did it myself. I called it Lysa P. I did. I did. That was that was me. I I I I, I joked about myself. <laughs> okay, we're back from the ads. We're back from the ads. Yeah, all my vods are called Lysa P. Pickly. Pickly. Hello! Welcome in! Welcome in! Yeah! Perfect time to give back! Yeah! <laughs> Ads were just over. They just finished. Thank you so much for the raid, Pickley! How was your stream? Wait, no, 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 no. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, no, 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 no. Stop it! As you, as you can tell, like, the, the game does this sometimes. Um... <laughs> If I scroll in the chat, that that happens. I I so so. <laughs> but thank you so much for the raid. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Vepricos. I am Norwegian streamer. Uh, today we're playing uh, Ghost Pia. I think we're pretty much at the end of the chapter, which means that we only have one chapter left of the game. And I stream this every th every Thursday, so um, it's uh. It's pretty close to the end. <laughs> I think. I'm getting, I'm getting the sense that it's the end. But yeah, I usually stream uh, a lot of indie games, a lot of uh, Metroidvanias, platformers, some some difficult games, some Souls-like games, uh, all, all kinds of stuff. Um, so if you like that, then, you know, maybe maybe you will like hanging out here. Who knows? Who knows? Um, but hi, Clever, and hey, Savage Patch Kid, and Nikki, <laughs> and Mikey. Um, welcome in, welcome in. 
The pickles missed the art ads. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, how am I? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I have to say though, playing a visual novel is very tiring on the voice, but it's, um, it's, it's really, it's really, I like it. I like it, but I'm, I'm doing good. I hope you're doing good as well, Pickley and anyone else who, who also showed up or the ones who were here from before the raid as well. You know, I'm not excluding anyone. <laughs> um... But yeah, thank you for giving a shout out to Pickley and Clever and Chounzy. Thank you so much for the follow. We do have anonymous follows in case anyone was wondering. Um, so you can you can lurk in peace if you want to. Um, no ads for you, yeah. <laughs> can we get a shout out for Nikki as well? Um, oh yeah, you did. Also, I, I was just not scroll down. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, you knew I was awesome for a reason. Wait, what are you talking about? Because I named Liza P my my Liza P uh, streams Liza Pia. Because yeah, my name is Veprikos. You can call me Vepri, Vep, or Pia, which is my actual name. <laughs> that was that was what we were talking about beforehand. Um, because that is the reason why I'm playing this game because it's called Ghost Pia, uh, and I chose it because because it has my name in it. And, you know, I've never seen any game having my name in it before. And I was like, and it also looks really nice. So, you know, let's, let's give it a go. Um, <laughs> uh, you've been lurking. You had just gone from feeling completely fine to utter crap in like three minutes. But no, Black Cats, I'm so sorry. I hope, I hope you, you take it easy, relax and chill. I hope you, hope you feel better. The stream was fun. You played five different demos. The Prince of Persia one was absolutely the best, high quality. Dude, I have wanted to play that game. Um, when it, then they showed, I think it was the Steam, no, Summer, no, the 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 Summer thing where they showed um games and stuff. <laughs> I was like, damn, I actually really want to play this because you know. Platformers, Metrovania. Isn't it a Metrovania? I thought they said that they, that it was, but it also looks really good. But it's good to hear that you you prove of it, Pickley. Mm. Um, keep finding games that share uh, my name. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Some bald. Yeah, I also do play. Uh, currently, I am one. Well, the games that I am playing right now are well. This I play on Thursdays. And uh, I play a game called Cookie Cutter, which is a Metroidvania, a very uh, go gory Metroidvania. <laughs> it's not it's not as cute as it sounds. Uh, and then I play Baldur's Gate on uh, Tuesday and Friday. So uh, yeah, we we play we play all kinds of games here. Um, I'm wonderful. You just no, you you don't. Well, I mean, I would love for people to say, but <laughs> absolutely no pressure. But thank you. I'm I'm glad to hear that. Nikki is also pretty cool. You should go check. You should go check out Nikki. N Nikki, Nikki. I can't talk anymore. I've exhausted my voice so much today. <laughs> uh, tiring on the vo voice. Hope it's been a fun time though. It's been really fun. This the story in this game is so engaging. I really enjoy it. I really really enjoy it. Um, wishing all the wellsies for the frenzies. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Um, Liza P wasn't actually Liza Pia. <laughs> you legit keep thinking he was. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> I'm glad you're hum humoring me, Nikki. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, you like that? It's corny, but you like corny. You know, sometimes corny can be funny and fun. And, you know, <laughs> a queen. How you doing, queen? Uh, you gonna lurk and cook some spaghetti? Mom spaghetti? But yeah, thank you so much for the lurk, Sarah. It's a Metroidvania, yeah, with some really cool features, like t taking screenshot screenshots that show up on the in the map. Dude, that is so helpful, especially when it's a Metroidvania. Dude, that that's some next level stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, go check out Queen as well. I hope you're doing well, Queen. Um, but you're back from an attempted but unsuccessful uh, unsuccessful nap. I'm sorry. I hope it will get better though, Black Hats. Um, but how am I doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Hey, April. Hey, April. How you doing? All the good peoples are coming in. <laughs> um, 
so many cuties in the chat. It's true. It's true. All of them. Every single one. <laughs> um, but you're gonna lurk for now. We'll try to make your uh, way back before stream ends. Thank you so much for the lurk, Nikki. I really appreciate it. But yeah, anyone who came in from the raid, obviously feel free to, to raid and run, even if you weren't the one streaming, you know, sometimes it can be tiring just watching streams if you've been there for a while. I get it, I get it. Um, also, Nikki, was you were streaming earlier, so I definitely know that you were, uh, <laughs> you probably, I don't know, did you even take your after stream care? I don't know, I don't know. But you should do it. <laughs> um... But yeah, so we, we, we're right at the end of the game. Um, but unfortunately, when I try to scroll in my chat, I end up uh, rewinding or fast forwarding in the game. So that's what I ended up doing. That's why I was like, no, 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 no. Um, also, for those of you who um, have not been here for this whole playthrough, uh, I do have all my VODs on YouTube. Uh, so I post the YouTube VODs. Uh, no, uh, the, the game VODs. Uh... I try to post them the day after I've been streaming it, so you can catch up on on it before. If you are interested, obviously, because I'm gonna most likely finish this game next Thursday. So if you have some some time to kill, you know, you can check out the the, the YouTube if you want to. Um, yeah, yeah. You do need to grab a snack and stuff, but you'll be back. Do it, do it quickly. Also, thank you so much for the raid again. I do appreciate it a lot. Um, but but be but. <laughs> but be but. <laughs> uh, did you hear that Twitch affiliates and partners are getting their emote slots essentially doubled? So you're about to have all the cute... I, Sarah also tell, told me that because apparently uh, someone... You guys talked about it in the CKT Discord. Um, but... I think it might have happened after I started streaming because I didn't see it. Um, but also, yeah, go. I do have a command for the CKT as well if you want to check it out. Um, you've been complaining to Dan about that? About the, the emotes? Mm -mm. Also, yeah, we're gonna we're going to go back to the game because it's... I think we're right at the end of the chapter. Uh, also, we, we've seen this. I just ended up accidentally um, uh, rewinding <laughs> because you can rewind in the game. So what? Where we were? Exactly here. This is this is where we we stopped. <laughs> um, game audio is louder than me. Hey, hey, Steph. Also, I am live on TikTok right now as well, dude. I literally changed it earlier because um, because uh, Noir helped me out with that, but he said it was fine, so I don't know. It's really difficult to know about the sounds on TikTok, and especially with this game because you know I can't really. Uh, the the game sound stops when I use a different monitor. Um, but yeah, I have like I have my mic on two hundred and twenty five percent, and the game audio is on thirty five percent. It's like insane difference. Like, what is the stupid sound on TikTok? Like, what is what is going on with that? It makes no sense. They need to fix that shit. <laughs> I've turned it down to, let's see, if turning it down to 15% will help. Yeah, I have the mic on 225% and the game is supposed to be 15% now. So if that doesn't help, then I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um... We'll see. But also, hi, Steph. I'm so glad to see you. Um, it is nice to see you. Um, but game sounds scarier. That's how you know it was loud. <laughs> but it's so weird because I, I got help from, from uh, Noir earlier as well. And he said it was 
it was good. So I was like, really, you know, finally we figured it out. But I, I make that make sense because I, I can't make that make sense. <laughs> um, but you still so still me too when I heard it. Like now, now that I, well. For me, it's easier to make uh, static emotes than animated ones, so I'm still kind of behind on getting more animated emotes done because I, I make all my emotes myself, so it's 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 a bit of work. Um, but with static ones, it's going to be easier. It's it takes less time to do. Uh, you don't. Uh, it doesn't make sense to get, keep a high amount of emote slots behind partner. Uh, everyone is already motivated to get pa partner regardless, and in terms of profit for Twitch, there is a small, small portion, a uh, portion of people who solely for emotes, black hats, and for everyone else, it's a part of the package. Everyone having more emotes, bigger chance of them appeal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's that's what we've been saying for years. That it's like it's only a win for Twitch to have emotes. Unlocked for everyone, and it's like you you've already unlocked them because it's like you need a certain amount of e uh, sub points to unlock a new emote slot, but then it's behind partnered. Uh, like you 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 cannot actually get them until you're partnered, but you already unlocked them. You just can't use them. You can't have access to them. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's true. It's true. Some people follow or sub just for the emotes. It's true. Um, very easy to unlock. Just have to times ten new current sub points. Yeah, but are the new emotes also attached to that, Sarah? Hey, Avion, how you doing? Nice to see you. I've accepted the fact that you're the one everyone. One uses for the argument of some people subbing just for emotes. You have accepted this. I've done it before as well. I've also done it before. Um, so you're not the only one. Um, I usually use my prime sub for that. Not in, well. I use used to do it before. Um. Sorry, I missed your first TikTok live. You were asleep. You think you sub for uh, you sub for no ads. <laughs> That's that's totally fair, um, but yeah, no worries, no worries, Steph. It was it was uh, you know we're just trying it out. We're just trying it out. So I'm not expecting the TikTok thing to like be something that pops off. <laughs> it's just something that I'm trying out to see how well it it works, and you know, we're just we're just trying it out because everything that I do outside of Twitch is just to get more people. To come to my Twitch, <laughs> really, uh, like Twitch is my my main focus anyway. So anything I do outside of that is just to get more people to come to Twitch, you know. Um, TikTok does help a lot for discovery. Yeah, we'll see once I once I get more things sorted out and it's not as um, borky as it is for me right now. <laughs> maybe 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 we'll. Uh, Maybe we'll do some 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 good. We'll see. We'll see. Um, chill with a mocha. Nice. That sounds good. Emotes are good vibes, mate. It's true. It's true. Okay, let's let's get into the game again. Yeah. So this is um, who appeared out of the dust. Now that some of the dust has settled, it's not too hard to make out that silhouette. Renja. It seems I made several mistakes. Renja. This whole incident started because of her. So, to end this incident, we have to face her again. I see how it is. I'd say your first mistake was messing with us. Kill those two and come to me. Do you really think so? If you think you can command me, think again. I already took that thing out. If you want me to do something, then ask properly. 
So you refuse? I'm sorry we couldn't be friends. Oh, is that so? I agree. You will be sorry. Renja lets out a small sigh as she pushes her small fist against a button on a hidden compartment on the armrest of her futuristic wheelchair. Obviously, I can't help but wonder what that button does. It can't be anything good, at least. Damn. Is her wheelchair like a mechanical spider? <laughs> her wheelchair starts rattling. Then it seemingly deconstructs itself into individual cylinders spreading out like a metal tree sprouting out of nowhere. The beams then weave into each other and reconstruct themselves into a new sort of lattice structure, lifting Renja up high in her seat. It doesn't take long for that thing to expand to the point that it towers over us. It grows to about ten times its original size. I can now say with certainty that the button Renja pushed was... a transformation button. I think it's safe to say, yes. <laughs> wow, it transforms. I dig it. She's faster than we thought. I couldn't shake her off her tail, which is why we have to rely on you, Sayoko. You have to do something about her. A silver spider. Hey, I said spider first. <laughs> um, <laughs> you didn't understand the question, but it doesn't matter too much. You don't need more slots right now. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Um, I just meant if the, the new emote slots that we're talking about was something you would only get access to if you reach the, the new plus program. So if you got the 100% recurrent subs, if that was the only way you would get access to the the extra emote slots. Or if it was just anyone, or everyone who is affiliate. Um, You know you're not the only person, but you've seen arguments on forums saying there's no people that are going to sub to multiple people just for emotes, and you're just sitting here like, why did nobody inform you don't exist? <laughs> But but sippin, but but sippin. <laughs> She's a transformer. It's she, indeed she is. Um, you're not afraid of spiders, but you sure as shit wouldn't would get the fuck out of town if you saw that. Yeah, yeah. Same, literally same. Um, it just seems like they they're locked behind sub point goals they've set, and they seem very high for just one more slot. It's just one more slot. Yeah, that's not worth it. Yeah, silver spider. That's what this weapon looks like. It's silver, and it's got many legs surrounding Renge's vantage position seat. The only part of the thing that still resembles the original wheelchair. Or else this is the end. I see. So this could be the end, huh? That's not good. I guess I better put in some effort then. I stoop down, pick up some snow by my feet, and make a fist-sized snowball. Then I hurl it at Renja's face. <laughs> Come at me! <laughs> Are you kidding me? The spider picks up one of its legs that's maybe twice my height, and then... Damn. Did she just skewer Clara? It swings the pointed tip down hard immediately behind me. Skewering Cl that's, that's, that's literally what I said. Skewering Clara from the crown of her head straight down through her lower abdomen. Damn, that's brutal. She looks like an obscene object, uh, 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 object, object dart, I don't know how to pronounce that, depicting the way butcher birds impale their prey on thorns. 
The vivid contrast of the vibrant red blood against the cold silvery steel has me frozen in my tracks for a second. Get in! Oh, good thing it was just Clara. <laughs> Sounds so mean. Pacifica yanks me by the collar and drags me into the station wagon. I end up biting my tongue a little due to the whiplash of the car suddenly taking off. So that's what we're up against here. Any ideas? Sorry, nothing's jumping out at me. Even if we don't know what we can do, we have to do something. Pacifica flings the rear door open, reaches behind the rear seat, and picks up what looks like that old painless minigun from minigun from those action movies. She proceeds to spray bullets at the spider. Honestly, her aim is not bad, but it's a wasted effort. Several shorter legs located closer to Renja move with unbelievable speed and precision to deflect any bullets that threaten their master while ignoring the rest. Anya suddenly swerves to dodge a longer leg that pierces the ground way too close to the car for comfort. Damn. I support Pacifica's body when the abrupt turn threatens to knock her off balance. Pacifica curses as she loads the next magazine and fires again. The spider seems to slow down as a whole whenever Pacifica fires at it, so I bet, I bet she feels obligated to keep shooting, lest the car be turned into a shish kebab. A shish, shish car bob. Shish car bob. Shish car bob. I see what you did there. <laughs> Nothing of value lost, save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. You have officially joined the Mau Mau fan club. Have you? How far are you into it? We. Oui? I love Mau Mau. I had to add her to my my one of my favorite characters. Right, uh, like, wait, maybe not right away, but only two episodes. Honestly, that's fair. <laughs> I absolutely fell in love with the show right away as well. Um, I'm so glad you like it though. It is. It it, it probably is one of my favorites now. For those of you who don't know, we're talking about uh, the Apothecary Diaries. Um, how is she piloting that thing so well? I shout as hard as I can so that the gunfire doesn't drown me out. Dude, that's insane. <laughs> There's no way she's driving manual. Not with movements like that. There's gotta be a camera or a sensor or something hooked up to a real-time image pro processor to detect and neutralize any threats like guns and whatnot. Hmm. So we're up against a genuine war machine? Like hell it is, uh, is a genuine. Normally you'd expect it to have guns and more armor and stuff on it. Lucky us. Not lucky enough that we have a chance against it though. So, you're saying we just have to shoot at it from where the camera can't see us, right? You got the right idea. And I bet you can make that shot too. But there's no way we can gain enough distance from that thing. Maybe if we hit a gun inside a plush toy. That'll make for a funny joke, but I don't think we've got any plush toys here. Sayoko, let's switch places for a second. They had to animate it? Yeah. <laughs> As you already said in Discord, you would have watched a lot sooner had someone told you she's voiced by Yuki Aoi. But I, you knew that a lot, like two weeks ago. Then you would have... But you, you started today? That can't be the only reason. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, this game is a trip. <laughs> the sound effect of the text sounds like a turkey chain... Wait, the sound effect of the text sounds like a turkey? <laughs> a turkey? <laughs> I don't I don't know if I agree with that one. Uh, okay. I switch places with Pacifica and continue to fire bullets with a machine gun. 
The rapid clinking of the metal legs as they de uh, deflect the bullets nearly drives me insane. We don't have that much ammo left, either. Even if we conserve as much ammo as possible, it's only a matter of time before it runs out. Get down! Oh, she has a bazooka now? The whole interior of the car explodes. Wait, what is going on? Oh, damn. Oh, never mind. It was it was something weird. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Um that was weird. Um 100% turkey. Back with mom's spaghetti. Welcome back. Welcome back. Her hat flew off. Mm. GG anyone inside the car is now dead. <laughs> Watch your back blast. Yeah, but they're ghosts, so it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, at least that's what it seems like for a moment when Pacifica launches a rocket at the spider. These sorts of rockets are quite slow, which gives us plenty of time to pray. <laughs> I think I hear Ren just shouting something. The next thing I hear is the impact. Damn. Hey, there's a little thing called back blast, you know? I just figured if that thing can deflect bullets, then maybe explosive would do the trick. It's incredibly hard to see, thanks to the fumes from the explosion. I can't even see the spider so wet. I did it work? I bet it didn't work. <laughs> My vision starts to spin, and at the same time, my whole body feels intense G-forces. A few seconds later, I realize that one of the legs pierced the station wagon and swung it around. My body gets flung onto the snow. I blank out for just a moment before I realize that now isn't the time, so I get up. The spider's leg, uh, legs had gathered in one place to form a simple protective wall in front of Renja. It seems several of the legs have been damaged, exposing the joints. But that's all the damage there is. Our nearly suicidal rocket launcher attack had an effect, but it wasn't enough. Well, I guess it figures that this thing would have ha uh, would have all sorts of weapon data stored in its database. <laughs> uh, you hear Animal Crossing characters, personally? Yeah, me too. That's what I hear too. Well, honestly, it's been used in a lot of different games, but I guess the most well-known one is Animal Crossing. Butt spot the front butt too. Watch all your butts. <laughs> Did the bot just butt the butts? <laughs> uh. Anya speaks as she struggles to crawl out from the driver's seat of the overturned car. I must admit, you caught me a little off guard, but this is the end. Renja speaks calmly, with a sadistic glint in her eyes. I didn't miss the flustered expression she had on her face for a split second, though. Unfortunately, I can't even manage to stand up. The only thing keeping me from being skewed right now is Renja's desire to sati uh, satiate her sadistic urges. I can't even talk anymore. It's like I'm already dead. I mean, I'm always dead, but you get the idea. You... Okay, that's not supposed to say shit. I don't know what it's supposed to say, but... I call Renja something you definitely can't say on TV. I can clearly see Renja's calm, collected face distorted with rage. Was it the B word? <laughs> I can also see the spider lift up one of its legs. Machine gun fire nearly ruptures my eardrum. Pacific is unloading every last bullet at Renja, slowing the speed of the leg's movements. The attack barely grazes me as I desperately dodge it. 
I then borrow a warhead from the box that tumbled out of the car. I was easily able to hit Renja in the face with a snowball earlier, despite it being both slower and bigger than a bullet. Which can only mean one thing. Objects thrown by hand don't trigger the spider's defense system. And if that's the case, do they have any, 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 any bombs or anything? Like a... Dynamite? Or like a, a like a, like a, like a... I forgot the word. Zai? Thank you for the hydrate. Well, I'm kind of out. <laughs> you want a head pot? You can get a head pot. There we go. There we go. How you doing, Zai? Zai? <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, go check out Zai as well. Which can only mean one thing. Oh yeah, we, we read that. Um. Oh. Ooh, what is she throwing? Is that a, is that, is that? Oh. I don't really want to say something like, that's the power of friendship, because that'll be so cheesy. So I say it ironically, as a joke. That's the power of friendship. <laughs> well, that is the, f the power of friendship. Indeed, indeed. Friendship's the best. Friendship's the worst. Meaninglessly shout with your friends. <laughs> Renja looks like she become, she's become part of the wreckage. Though, I guess that's not too far from the truth, since this thing was quite literally like an extension of her body. <laughs> Sayoko, you're making a mistake. It's also the fact that an exposed shaft or something is stabbing into her back. <laughs> Associating with the lazy will only make you lazy, too. Will only make you lazy, too. <laughs> I still think it's our mission to rule. Rather than actually talking to me, it sounds like Renj is trying to convince herself more than anything. The plush toy she's always carrying has fallen onto the ground. Contrary to its soft appearances, there's cold, hard mechanical parts jutting out of a tear, a tear in the fa fabric. There's no need to rush anymore, so I slowly pick it up. I see. So this must be the main control unit. Give that back. You seriously think anyone would give it back when you ask like that? I just stare at Renja. We are superior. Unlike you people, we're not fakers appealing to teenage brats who buy cheap knockoff brands named Sneakers. Wait, who buy cheap knockoff? knockoffs of a brand brand name sneakers why is it such an, a mouthful all of these things <laughs> um, that sounded so pathetic i had to close my eyes it was kind of pathetic though maybe that's why i couldn't read it i don't know do i feel empathy for this girl i do don't i That stuff is meant to be inhaled or injected by VIPs who possess soldiers who would gladly die for them when given the word. It's a glorious, high-purity, genuine article. Only the genuine can understand the feelings of the genuine. One day, you'll understand. I'm the you from the future. Someone's here to pick you up. I don't even have to look to know who it is. The heavy footsteps and heavy breathing due to the heavy injuries make it quite obvious. I had a feeling she'd be coming. Met. Let's go home. Everything will be okay if we do everything I can to treat your injuries. 
I'm not your master anymore. That doesn't matter to me. What are you talking about? It matters to me. If you're not my slave, you're worthless to me. Your wound certainly is deep, but... I lean in next to Renja and examine her wounds. I take the bug out of my pocket. The poor thing had failed in its mission to take control of me. Renja's eyes open wide. She mouths the word stop. On closer inspection, I found that her wound isn't actually bleeding that much, so I set the bug free inside of it. I figure it's closer to the spine than the arm. The sky is starting to turn white, but I figured we'd have enough time to get home if we started walking now. So we've got plenty of time. Renja, do raise your right hand. Before I even finish speaking, Renja raises her right hand, even though it's caught underneath a, a jagged metal part which leaves a big scratch on the back of her hand. I can hear Miss Met gasp. Fine. Go ahead and hum humiliate me. I don't want to humili humiliate you. Don't worry. I won't do this again. Mm, let's see. First of all, I can't. Uh, I command you to. Don't die. Miss Met speaks up when she catches on to what I'm trying to do. Wait. No. Shouldn't. Next. Do seize all sales of both drugs and sweets. Don't send hooligans to your room. Don't cause harm to me or the people close to me. And also, don't work with the church. This isn't what I want. Tell me how you really feel. It is what I want, but I don't think it's a wish worth granting. It's weird, I know. Maybe she's got a point. But I do think it's a wish worth granting. Renja. Don't leave Miss Met's side. Miss Met, do you protect Renja at all times? In particular, do you prevent any situations that might cause the extraction of these bugs things from your bodies? Bug things from your bodies. <laughs> mm. Moving on. And furthermore, do continue to live together in peace for good. I drop the plush onto the ground. I do the best that I can to make sure nobody can ever touch it again for the rest of eternity. This is probably the limit of what I can do. At the very least, I feel refreshed. Let's go home. I talk to my two friends who've been watching over the whole thing. I want to take a bath. I want to eat meat. Sounds good. Let's do both. <laughs> Please wait. Miss Met drags Renja out of the scrap and carries her on her large back. Looks like Renja's asleep. That. Or she's she fainted from the humiliation. Though her face does seem to be peacefully asleep. Miss Met. You just said that this is weird. I think Miss Met is a good person. According to Renja, she's nothing more than a lazy ghost. But she's still virtuous and pure, which is why I wanted to reward her. Hmm. You sorry you feel gross again? No, don't feel gross. But I hope you I hope you feel better, Black Cats. I'm sorry I didn't see it sooner.
Though I'm probably just being self-centered and self-satisfying here. Yes, I did say that. And I still think it, after all. Everyone is a little bit weird. That's what my doctor told me. I didn't know what she was talking about at the time, but now I agree. Oh, she's talking about Yoru. <laughs> Miss Sayoko. The doctor's always giving medical exams in the plaza. And that's where I'll be, too. I'll see you again someday. I'll be waiting. My two ghost friends and I feel happy as we walk up briskly. Not because we want to have time, uh, not because we don't have time, but because we want to be home as soon as possible. We leave the other two ghosts behind. I can't help but pray that one of them will be happy for as long as possible. That was the end of the chapter. That was the end of the chapter. <laughs> that was a good chapter. I like that. You sleepy still at work though? I feel that. I feel that. Work has been rough this week, sleep-wise. <laughs> but I hope you I hope your work day is over as soon as possible. So you can get home and relax. GG, thank you. <laughs> well, it's not like I'm, I'm doing anything except just moving the, the dialogue along, but, you know. Can we see victory? Oh, yeah, yeah, you re you redeemed that. Never mind. Uh, also, the chapter isn't quite over, but it is over, but it's also not quite over. <laughs> uh, so there are no choices. To no, no, that's one of the, the whole, like, I guess probably one of the selling points i don't know depends on who you ask uh because it's just supposed to be a story so it's not gonna ha it's not supposed to be you know stressful in any way in in the sense that you're making any decisions or uh you know yeah you're just playing through a story pretty much um also i forgot to do the timer I forgot to do the timer. Um, you d you didn't know it <laughs> correct to do an emote? Yeah, it does. It does. Okay, I think I think it's been a, a, like a minute, so we can maybe do that. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm guessing the uh, <laughs> yeah the 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 brow emote. That's something also I've I've considered for a long time because it's it's. It's something that would be simple to animate because it's just the eyebrows and nothing else. So, you know, it would be it would be easy to do, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, the brows, the brows, yeah. We we do have the the eyebrow cam. Or like Jean likes to say, uh wrinkle check. Well, it's because I said it first. Um, just adjust brow location. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> also, I I missed I missed uh, the the redeem at first, but uh, well, I actually didn't miss it. I just you know, I didn't miss it, but I I, I was I was just a little bit caught up in in what I was doing. <laughs> I was, uh, yeah, I was, I was. Yeah, so what what the game does at the end of the the credits, uh, after each chapter is that it just it usually refers to to an old memory from before she was a ghost. I think. I think that's what it usually does. At least that's what it's been um, for the past few chapters. Uh, one summer evening, 
when the air's hot enough to make you gradually break out in sweat. It's my first summer in this town. It's got a different sort of heat than the city. But just, that, just as I do in the city, I make myself as small as possible as I get down from the single car train and head towards the unmanned turnstiles. She's waiting behind the turnstiles. She's got a small, slender body and a cute face with a small, upturned nose. The slight humidity isn't doing her fluffy hair any favors. I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> but even with that in mind, she's still several times more attractive than other girls her age. She notices me. Her face is in a paperback book. But I notice her eyes twitch a little. However, she still pretends not to have noticed me. I hold my card against the turnstiles and pass through them. I do so even though I'm just going to go back inside after seeing her. Because she'd get mad if I didn't. Actually, she wouldn't get mad. Just pouty. With a look of displease uh, on her face and tears in her eyes for some reason. And her mood wouldn't improve until I personally apologize for every little thing I've done wrong. Wow, okay. Toxic. <laughs> You're late. Once I pass through the turnstiles, she looks up from her book. I've been waiting for ages. You really expect me to show up immediately when you call me unannounced? That's what I want to say, but instead, I just say what I usually do. I'm sorry. No, you're not. I'm sorry for being inconsiderate and making you wait out in the heat, even though you're tired from practice. I see. Apology accepted. Try harder next time. The two of us pass back through the turnstiles. That's another day's worth of lunch money wasted for a stupid formality. And money's not the only thing that's that I've lost today to feed this girl's stupid desire for control. Listen, I worked very hard. I practiced today. I... It's been about half a year since I had to move to this remote rural town due to a parental job transfer. I don't know if it's because of the country climate or my own personality, but my classmates and my new school treat me like an outsider. Nobody's tried to be my friend. She's the only one who's even approached me. She, she was just as alone. And for that simple reason, we began spending time together. Hmm... Um, summer, you ready for spring? Sunshine and blooming things? I, I, I like spring, but I'm not a f huge fan of summer. <laughs> These are not pitch black at 10 a.m. anymore. That's true. 12 hour stream, let's finish this game? Oh, damn. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> 12 hour butts. Hmm. The TikTok stream UI is terrible. It's like a Ubisoft game. Yeah, yeah. Have you tried doing it too, Krauses? Chris? I don't know why I called you Krauses. I never call you Krauses, but I did now for some reason. Uh, the, the desktop version looks better. Uh, but the mobile version is terrible. Um, but yeah, the, the desktop version of TikTok stream is, is okay-ish. Um, Dadman ravi raviolis. Wait, is that is that an inside joke that I I I'm not familiar with? <laughs> raviolis. Mm. Chris operates uh, on the Kr Krauss OS. Mm. Oh, you couldn't remember Dadman's only- Oh! <laughs> Dad Oli. Kraus Oli. Kraus Oli. Oh. Uh, you've just been popping me a fatty lurk and you're scared to click anything in case you launch a missile or something? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I get that, I get that. I do appreciate the lurk though. I have seen that you popped in a few times. I, I kind of hate that it shows when people come in to lurk. 
I, I, I don't, I don't like that, that TikTok does that. Um, but I do appreciate that. There's g g Ghibli's everywhere. Wait. <laughs> Little doodlers and doodads. Yeah, it's terrible. It's terrible. Um, I think I think the desktop version is probably better. But it's like the whole point of it being fun with TikTok is that you can use your phone in... Well, I mean, to be fair, you can use Twitch on mobile as well. But it's, you, you know how awful that is as well, you know? You'd think a crow would appreciate? Mm. Yeah, yeah. You'd think. But yeah, she's the only one who's even approached me. She was just as alone. And for that simple reason, we began to spend time together. I also forgot that I, I need to have the admin ads manager open. <laughs> uh, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. Um... No! What are you doing? Oh, it was Z, not X. Her parents also are also from the city, so she says she's picked up urban vocabulary and in intonations from her parents. But I doubt it was an entirely natural process. She's yearned for city life and believed that the city is where she belongs. She acts like she's been unjustly torn away from the city. From what I've heard, she's been to the city no more than four times in her life, so I seriously doubt she's really a city girl at heart. Well, justified or not, that's how she acts, so I guess I can't blame the locals for treating her like an outsider. As a result, she had nowhere to belong. That's when I, actual city folk, moved in, and she set her sights on me. She believes that if she can control me, she can tr control her delusion of the city. By the time I realized that, it was too late. Nearly half a year has, had passed. Hey, are you listening? We wait for the train at the empty platform as it gradually gets darker. Nearby is an unma unmanned police box, an old worn out beauty parlor, and some sort of office. There's also a field. That's pretty much it. It almost makes you think we're in the middle of a desert or something. Oh, yeah. If you're not interested, then then just say so. I am interested. Sorry, I must, uh, must have been tough. What a mean teacher. If you want to pretend you were listening, you could brush up on your acting skills. I'm not in my home city anymore. If I don't do things my way, I'll just get swallowed up. I won't come see you anymore. I muster up everything I've got to ring out those words. I'm not doing this anymore. But you're my precious friend. I can't believe you'd say something like that. We aren't friends. Friends are equals. You got a lot of nerve to say that when you don't even have any friends besides me. I have friends back in the city. I talked to them about you, and they all said you were mean. They were worried about me, so I worked up the courage to put my foot down. That's a lie. I'm as emotionally distant from my city friends as I am physically distant from the city. I was only ever in a friend group with fellow outcasts, so it's not like those relationships were ever going to last anyway. But I figured it's a lie I need to tell to show her just how firmly I'm putting my foot down. I'm not a good liar, but she has no way of finding out the truth. The rest is just a question of how bold I can be. What an obvious lie. As if you got any friends. Her voice is so cold as a window pane in the dead of winter. It seems like she's seen through my entire bluff. But that's just all for show. She's just as weak of a girl as I am. So I just mimic her and speak as coldly as I can. Fine. You're free to believe whatever you want. The train's getting closer to the platform, so I can't hear what she mutters under her breath. You... She takes a step towards me. Her face is twisted with rage, but I still kind of think she's cute. Not exactly the best time to space out. By the time I snap back to my senses, I realize there's no more ground underneath my feet. 
uh, uh, underneath my left foot. I've been thrust away. I'm falling helplessly from the platform onto the railroad track below. The sound of the train sliding into the platform grows nearer and nearer. Damn. Damn, what did she just do? It's a three-point fall. First my left foot, then my butt, and finally my shoulders. I'm in agonizing pain. The train slides into the platform on the opposite side as my ears pick up the distorted grating sound of its brakes. In any case, I'm alive. That's kind of a relief since I was ready to die. That relief subsides seconds later when I see the girl who shoved me and the flames of rage ignite. Hey, were you trying to kill me? Are you out of your mind? As she looks down at me from the platform, instead of speaking timidly, she yells at me in a low voice I've never heard her use before. Are you trying to say I'm the same as the other shitty kids in this shitty town in the shitty middle of nowhere? I guess it's easy to shit talk when you shit too. You think you're a hot shit just because you were born in the city? Well, my parents graduated from a proper university, unlike yours. University? Why the hell are you talking about university? You know, city girl. You're a shitty bumpkin born in the shitty sticks. This exchange of words is completely pointless. I can't stand staying here. I want to fly away. What city, friends? As if. You're obviously lying. There's nothing charming about you at all. What's the point of associating with you? There's no kids who would ever want to be your friend. Not here. Not in the city. And not in the this entire world. Yes, there are. There definitely are. There definitely are. This may just be a meaningless yelling competition. But now that I've put it into words, I feel like that's exactly what I want to be, uh, what I want to be true. There has to be someone out there in this world who wants to be my friend and who I would want to be friends with. There has to be. When I think about it like that, I start to tear up for some reason. Maybe it's just a way to cope with the reality. But as long as I believe it to be true, I'm sure I can grow stronger in my own way. There must be someone waiting to meet me out there. Somewhere far away from this stupid place. And I can't meet them unless I look for them. In the meantime, I'll have to make myself someone worth meeting. I'll come see you someday. That's why I can't rot and die in a place like this. I look up at this pitiful girl who is with a defiant smile. She runs away in fear. And by the time the police car and ambulance arrive, I've been laughing the entire time. As a result, the doctors have my head inspected too. Well, at least I got a funny memory out of it. Well, okay then. What, what a way to end the chapter. <laughs> what a way to end the chapter. Or episode, I mean. The day I looked at her, then saw her. Mm. Yeah, this is what we're gonna do next uh, Thursday. We're gonna... This is the last chapter, or episode. This is the last episode. So we're gonna... We're gonna say that for next Thursday. Uh, also, we're getting an ad, so I'm just gonna talk. Uh, I'm not gonna end right now. Uh, because I won't have time. The ad will run before then. So we're gonna we're gonna just hang out for a bit. Also, I'm gonna end the the stream on TikTok right now. So if anyone wants to join from there over to uh, Twitch, then you know it is the same username it is as as here. So I'll I'll close it now. At four. Wait. Oh. Oh damn! I almost ended it at four forty four forty four. Almost. Almost. That was close. It was close. Also, let me put on some music. Um, also, let me catch up. Yeah, we, we are going to have a, an ad break now. Um, 
So we're gonna we're gonna just shit, shit and chat, you know. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just gonna move my browser over on this monitor. Um. Are you trying out a new ice cream called Cinnamon Swirl? Is it good? Is it just cinnamon flavor or are there yummies in there in it too? A sleepy sleigh in a sleigh nonetheless. Doing well though. Mm. That's good. That is good. It's brown sugar cinnamon ice cream with cinnamon bun dough and cinnamon icing swirl. That does sound pretty good. <laughs> that sounds intense. <laughs> It tastes- oh, that sounds really good, though. That sounds good! Wait, hold on. What? <laughs> uh, I've just been rearranging a few things here. Uh, on my, um, stream manager. I don't know why I scroll up so much though, but uh, it sounds very rich. You think you'd only be able to have like a teeny ice cream cone amount? Mm. I, I, when it comes to anything sweet, I have too high of a tolerance. I can, unfortunately, I wish I didn't. <laughs> Cinnamon gets intense very fast. Hey, you camping because you intense. <laughs> Um, shitty sticks, yeah. It's very sugary, but the cinnamon bun dough makes it feel like you're eating a regular cinnamon bun with cool ice cream on the side. Ooh. What's the brand? Some <gasps> Clever! Clever! An American Tale was one of my favorite movies as a kid. I loved An American Tale. I was... Honestly, I watched a ton of to uh, Don Bluth movies as a kid. It was it was one of some of my favorites, uh, especially uh, the Secret of Nim. The Secret of Nim was my absolute favorite. I think. Um, you wish they had a pint so you could say if you have a blue ball where you live to give it a try if you can. You recommend it? Hmm. I don't even know what that is. I assume it's a store, but... <laughs> Daniel, welcome, well, well, welcome, welcome home, <laughs> welcome home. I'm not drunk, I, I'm not drunk, you are. <laughs> not drunk, I'm not drunk. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, I could be dunk, but I'm not drunk, maybe dunk, who knows. It was such a good movie. You watched it again just a couple of years ago. I have it on DVD. I bought it on DVD, uh, like 10 years ago or something. So I have it, but I haven't watched it since then, I don't think. Same with um, um, The Secret of Nim. I bought that on DVD as well. Because you, you can't get it on Blu-ray, so I bought it on DVD. <laughs> um, and Fievel Goes West. Mm, yeah, there are apparently three movies, and the one that I bought had all three in one. But I I never really watched the other two. Is that the one with the mouse? Yeah, it was Fievel. Yeah. That's, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, you still quote that one? Small mouse, big hat. Mm. High? You? Are you high? I'm not high. Are you high? <laughs> uh, the spider who goes, I'm in pain. Wait. I don't remember that. <laughs> Chris. 
Why do so many people that I know have Astarian emotes? It's Tina has them? Well, I don't actually know Shelder, but I know someone who is a friend of Shelder, who's a mod in Shelder's chat, which is uh, uh, Ellie. Ellie also has uh, an Astarian emote as well, at least one. Uh, <laughs> the thirst is absolutely astronomical. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, to be fair. I mean, can, can you can you blame people? I don't. Uh, can you? Can you? <clears throat> <laughs> Maybe a little bit, you know? You enjoy, Danya. You enjoy. Do what makes you happy. Tina got so many. Oh, wait. I didn't know that she had Shadowheart as well. I thought it was just uh, Astarian. <laughs> That's hilarious, though. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, You better get a Ron's emote made. I mean, if that's what you really want. <laughs> it brings out the worst of us every time. I Have you seen the clip you made, Clever? Have you seen the amount of views it has already? Have you, have you checked? Let me see how much, uh, how many there are now. Right now there are, um, se oh wait, it's, it's the same amount as I, when I checked at the beginning of stream. 77 views 77 views which is you know is quite a bit <laughs> no <laughs> blues blues is traumatized because of the clip tina streams are family friendly and you barely contain in there uh, yeah how, how is that possible honestly Shadowheart is my favorite and definitely my own one and only Roman. No, <laughs> it's it's the the only proper save scum that I've ever done so far in the game, and it was so worth it. <laughs> I was so I took it. I was so offended. I was so offended. <laughs> uh, popping all all off. Popping off, yeah. Not just the clip, but the the, the emotes. Mm. <laughs> and we are gonna go back to uh, Baldur's Gate three tomorrow, uh, where uh, you know we have saved the grove now. So uh, let's see what we're gonna do next. We're probably gonna go go under the the um, underground, I guess, because I don't think I'm gonna do the. Um, the, um, the hag stuff yet. I feel like that is something you can come back to later, hopefully. Because it seems a little bit out of my... level right now. I don't know. Because, I, like, I'm not I'm not good at by any means at all. I'm terrible at this game, but I can tell that I, I feel like I'm under level for it. He's everywhere. <laughs> I don't. I, I. I. I didn't even know until. Well, until I got the game, I think how popular he actually was. But I like. I didn't need to know he was popular to to already understand. Um, because you know you can just look at him and then you know. <laughs> A star universal. Mm mm. That was. <laughs> <laughs> Shadowheart doesn't seem so bad though, not that you played it. Mm, really? She, she If you've already met her in the game, you should already be able to tell from the beginning. Except, you know, he, she's nice when she thanks you for saving her. But that's pretty much it. Sarah started it off stream. Of course he did. How can you expect him not to? <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised that I managed to to contain myself, but and it was really, really difficult. I had it for 
I don't know if it was a full week before I started playing it, but it was... It was a little while. I just, I just, it was difficult. Dude, holy shit. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> I just checked my sub points. I, ju I lost like half of all my sub points since I started streaming uh, today. So that was, that was just a little bit of a shock to see. Um, you saw that Steam snitched on both of, wait, both of, both of us? Both of who? Oh, Dan, wait, you played Hollow Knight off stream, Chris? Damn, damn. Gotta make sure you can see what you're playing once you get around to it. that game with your name in the t <laughs> the title. Um, mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think you already have that turned off, Sarah, that people can't see uh, the games you played and how much you played them. Um, <clears throat> it's just in the activity that you can see that this person played that or has started playing that or something for the first time. I think that's the only thing, but it won't show. I, I don't know if you can turn that off. I don't know. You're redoing your sound. You made zero progress without- Wait, Really? You sure? <laughs> you saw Chris play- <laughs> We're still talking about you, Sarah. Don't- 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 don't think that we forgot. <clears throat> it should be. Are you afraid that people will see how much you play? How how much you play? Uh, are you afraid of people seeing that you're a degen? Deep down. So <laughs> no lies for me. Okay. Well, we will see. We will see on Sat. Are you streaming on Saturday? Uh, do you know? Have you have you fully decided, or was it just like? Maybe, a maybe. How the turntables, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I'm really enjoying this game. It's like, it's very unusual for me to play a, a visual novel. I'm not used to it at all, but I'm really enjoying the game. And I think we are gonna finish it next Thursday. Eternites is on sale. I just saw that I had a notification. 40% off, I might actually get it. <laughs> I played the demo for that game. And it was so good. I played it on stream. Well, it wasn't good, but it was like, it was... I was invested in the, in the story there, too. Even though it was just a demo. You have Eternites, it's fun. Hmm. Wait, have you finished it? Because I I played the demo and I was like, oh, I kind I kind of need this game now. Um, you're absolutely frothing at the bus <laughs> to play it again. So you will be streaming Saturday. That's so good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm very glad to hear that because you know it's so much fun watching people that I know, uh, play games that I love. So I'm I'm looking forward to it. Sarah has one of those hentai games Kate knows because Kate, I know exactly what the game is, Kate, because he he's he's talked about it. He has talked about it. And he also I know also know that he gifted you a game as well. Uh around Christmas, I think. No, it was before Christmas, wasn't it? It was in November, I think. Yeah, Sarah doesn't hold anything back then. <laughs> he tells us everything. No. Um, you've been playing it off stream a bit, but now you want to save it for stream. You are, that's the problem, you know? You want to play everything on stream, and then it's like... Ah, there's not enough time. Because I also, I also want to play everything on stream. There's one game that is kind of... Um, kind of another visual novel that I was considering playing after this one. Wait, hold on. Hmm... But it's, um... 
It's a game called Paranormasite. Seven, the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo. I bought this on sale. And it is overwhelmingly positive in the reviews. Uh, and I've been wanting it for such a long time. It came out in May, no, March last year. And since it came out, I wanted to play it. So that might actually be the next one that I'm going to be playing after uh, Ghost Pia. So maybe we will have like visual novels on Thursday now. <laughs> I don't know. I, I wasn't planning on making it a, a, a thing, um, but you know, I kind of want to. <laughs> Nowhere near finishing, just slightly further than the demo. Mm, okay, okay. <laughs> but you for butt firming. But you for butt firming. <laughs> Kate's message message didn't show up in Twitch chat, only screen, so you didn't see the message. Really? That's so annoying. But you for butt firming. <laughs> but you for butt. You didn't have to say it again, Budspot. <laughs> Backlog keeps growing. I feel that. I feel that. I'm also kind of wondering, should I continue playing Cookie Cutter on Sunday? Because I got stuck and I'm not sure if I want to. Like, I really like the game. But I don't I don't want to be stuck and struggle. Because it's, it's not a well, you know, well-known game so not a lot of people have played it so you can't really expect to get help from people in chat either which can be the downside of, well and sometimes it can be the the positives of playing um some indie games that people don't know about because then you at least won't have to worry about backseating but sometimes when you need the backseating it is nice to have the option but yeah <laughs> buddy <John. laughs> If your backlog is still growing, surely it's a back tree and it makes you a tor tortoraffian. <laughs> uh, you're buying mothers and daughters for Kate. You think it's a wholesome game? Wait, what is it? The way you said it and you said it was for Kate. I'm like, I'm starting to doubt that uh, how, how wholesome it is. <clears throat> Um, you want 100% behind streamers abandoning game if they don't enjoy it or get stuck. You should enjoy what you're playing. Yeah, I am. I am. Th that's the thing, though, because I am enjoying it. But it's it's easier to get unstuck if you don't have like people watching and you can just take your time with it and look things up and you know. And I don't like doing that on stream. I don't like looking things up on stream. Um. You think everyone left to see what Mothers and Daughters is? <laughs> could be, could be. Um, you just found out something funny. You don't want to spoil my Dark Urge playthrough, but it's a choice in it that has you laughing out loud. Mm, yeah, don't don't spoil it because I also I also really want to play a playthrough like that. Um, it's gonna hurt, but I, I kind of want to. Um. <clears throat> Hey, Bram Butterham. Bram Butterham, how you doing? How you doing? Welcome in. How you doing today? A Tortoraffian, maybe you're tired, but you're not getting that reference at all. Also, you no, you're not dumb. Stop it. You're too high. We free you do don't be freaking out. Don't don't freak out. No, but you can look it up before stream, so at least you know how to unstuck yourself. That is true. That is true. Um, I I was considering doing that as well. I guess you know. I think I'm gonna do it like um, you know, see how I feel on Sunday, whether I want to keep playing it on Sunday or not. Hmm. If you get stuck, that's what your fam is for. <laughs> but no one has played it, though. It's a Pokemon. You forgot you don't like Nintendo. Oh, Torter. Oh, wait. I didn't know about that either. I just laughed because of the... The, the other part. The... Um, the backlog and then... Back tree. That was what I laughed about, not the Tortoraffian part. <laughs> 
Uh, don't have to fear the neckbeards if nobody has played it. That's true. Yeah, that's very true. Exactly. But you're doing good. I'm glad, I'm glad. I'm also doing good. We just finished, uh... The, the fifth, no, fourth chapter in Ghostpia, which was quite a, quite interesting. <laughs> it was a, quite an interesting chapter. Uh, so we're gonna probably most likely finish it next time because it's only one chapter left. So if it's gonna be a longer stream, then so be it because I want to finish it. And then, you know, I have to remember to, um, have enough to drink hot drinks and stuff too <laughs> because my voice gets so tired um you never played a pokemon game mm. <laughs> I've, I haven't really played a lot of Pokemon uh, Pokemon games either. I was about to say Pokemon. <laughs> I played uh, I played Pokemon Snap, Pokemon Stadium, and Pokemon Go, and Pokemon. Uh, well, let's go Pikachu. Let's go Pikachu. So four Pokemon games. I'm not a. I'm not a Pokemon. Pokemon man. Don't Pokeball Man. <laughs> or don't Pokemon either. Not without consent, at least. If they like it, then go ahead. But, you know. Uh, you and Clever are co oping every single Pokemon game ever released, so you won't miss out on any future Pokemon jokes. <laughs> Someone else on the Nintendo sucks train? Yeah, Sarah Sarah is is definitely on that train. <laughs> You have not cleared this with Clever, but you're sure she's fine with it? Mm. <laughs> you're sleepy, but you agree. Be careful what you agree to. <laughs> yeah, when it comes to trust, I feel like with Sarah, you can probably you can you can be sure that that it won't it won't you won't come to any harm. Physically or mentally, I think. I, I'm I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's I think it's safe. Hey Shane! How you doing Shane? Um Hopefully there will be cookies. Could be, could be. You like Pokemon, just everything surrounding it uh, at the moment is just yeah, I mean I I was never re really huge on Pokemon, but Yeah. I don't know. It, you'll poke 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 a bram. <laughs> Small break at second job. Nice, nice. I hope I hope you you your workday goes by swiftly today, Shane. That's a bad idea. No, it's not. Um <laughs> It's not very effective. <laughs> Trust it forever. Don't take you as down a bad path. Mm. You have a responsibility now, Sarah. But you okay? That's good. 45 minutes left. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Good butt. <laughs> God, God butt. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> but sweat. Uh, no. <laughs> uh. <laughs> guys, did you guys see that Chris had added a command in his stream? Uh, exclamation point hole, and then it tells you how how clean your butt is. Yeah. So that's the thing you can expect in in a Chris stream. Which reminds me, go go check him out if you haven't already. It's gonna continue Hollow Knight on Saturday. Um, he tricked you. <laughs> Swamp ass ruined everything. <laughs> you did not participate in whole. I got ninety percent, so you know I'm pretty happy with my result. 
Uh, you drink. <laughs> and you had just showered and clean all your. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Rod got 1%. Wait, he got 1? I thought it was like 9 or something. Or 13 or whatever. I didn't think it was 1. That's insane. And he claims to be clean gang. How clean's your whole man? <laughs> no. Uh well it was it was more the other hole. But you know, you better clean both of them while you're at it, you know. Rod's clean gang Caden? Surely not. Surely not, yeah. You hope someone gets one hundred percent. Who who has been the closest? Do you know? Was I the closest or was someone closer? There's a special thing that happens at 100%. Mm. Not the stinky holes again. You miss it. Moose took roses for 13%. Angy? Wait. Wait, who? It's me? Oh, damn. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. What is this, this conversation? Um, but yeah, you know, let's see if we can find someone to raid. Uh, my voice is so tired right now. Uh, or kind of sore. My, my, my throat is kind of sore. I need to get something to, to drink. Something warm to drink. And I've been live for uh, almost six hours. I did not expect it to be this long today. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm... Well, you know, speaking of, um, speaking of, uh, you know, speaking of Pokemon, this wasn't really my intention, but you know, I was like, you know, I had never been able to raid Terra before, but he is playing Pokemon Scarlet or Violet. I don't know which one, one of them. But I've never been able to raid him, and he is uh, Chris's not-so-secret lover, so, you know. <laughs> so, you know, I feel like it would be appropriate to do. Um, speaking of dirty holes, wait, what What do you mean? Do, do we want to hear the rest of that? What, what are you about to say, Sarah? <laughs> but yeah, I think we should go and raid Terra. Um, because I've never been able to raid him before. Well, I mean, I have been able to. Last stream I was able to, but I ended up choosing uh, someone else that I never, ever have gotten to raid before. Um, so we're gonna do it now. We're gonna do it now. The triangle is getting complicated. <laughs> oh, that was all you... <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know anything about his holes, so I'm not gonna say anything there. Um, but yeah, so let us do the sh the, the, the raid message, um, uh, before I start the raid. So make sure to copy, uh, and I'm gonna copy the, the stream as well in case anyone gets left behind. But you shouldn't get left behind because, uh, that means that you need to refresh because you might have some, uh, I don't know. Issues. No. <laughs> Not you specifically, but your browser. I don't know. I don't know. That's not what I mean. I just- I just talk, okay? Yeah, let's go say hi to Terra. He's, um... He's a, uh, streamer down under. Um... And yeah, he's playing- uh, he also has- he also has two- I think it's two. Or does he have more than two? Pet rats. He has pet rats as well. And he shows them sometimes on stream. They're really cute. Uh, you'll ask. <laughs> the follower raid alert is so good. <laughs> Wait, the follower raid alert is so good? For who? Whomst? Terra? I don't, re I don't remember what it is. I don't think. Make sure you flip your keyboard so they can read it and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you guys had a good time. I really had a good time and we will be back again tomorrow at the same time and Here's my schedule in case you don't know what my schedule is um, 
So that's when we're gonna start at 7 p.m. CET tomorrow. And uh, we're gonna be playing more Baldur's Gate 3. So uh, I hope to see you then. And uh, have a good rest of your Thursday or Friday, if it is Friday for you already, because it is for me. So we'll see. We'll see you uh, later today, I guess. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.